Uh, we live. Uh, we live. Seems good. Let's get started with Calamity. Uh, Calamity plus a couple of quality of life mods. I've got compact stack, recipe browser, boss health bar, and boss checklist. That's about it. Um, never played uh, Calamity before. We're going to dive in. Um, I have created a world, but I haven't done anything in it. Luckily, I did that ahead of time because there was actually a bug uh, that caused it not to generate. So I needed this, uh, this mod right here just to make the world. So if you run into that, I think it was the, uh, the biome chest. Some kind of unhandled exception or, or null reference or something. Uh, so if you run into that problem, have a look for this. Anyway, let's get started. And I'm going to be doing this with no boss fight arenas. That's the goal anyway. Let's mark the middle of the map. Grab all the wood we can. Well, I forgot I don't have the guide to critter companionship yet. Sorry, squirrel. Apparently he's all better already. I don't like to cut down the tall trees, because you can't grow those back. Oh. 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 Um... That... That was unusual. Uh... Give me this. Truly the most epic of battles. That we shall see. That's a lot of mushrooms. got started on Daybloom already. I'll go a screen or two to the left and place them in a row where they're less likely to get destroyed. I don't have a bug net yet so I don't want to break the rocks. We'll save those worms for later. So far it's just Terraria. There's a worm. A hey, evil plot. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I'll take some water leaf and cactus, but I don't want to go far enough that I might get trapped by a vulture spawning behind me. Oh, there's already an oasis. Wow. Gonna be rather easy to find somewhere for the arms dealer and the nurse to live early on. What is that? What? What? No. 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 Is it hostile? Wolfram Rover. I... I don't want to find out right now. It's got almost as much health as me. That slime actually does have more health than me. Uh, wood. Oh crap. Oh crap, oh crap, no, 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 no. I changed my keys and I wasn't prepared. Okay, okay. That was close. Okay. Alright. 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, Q, Z, C, F, V, -E T. Gotta get used to that. Um. I guess Q is fine for wood. Starter bag. What is this? Oh. Well, that helps. Uh, that helps a lot. Shine potion goes here. Uh, swiftness potion goes here. I don't usually carry these two all the time. 
Blood Fountain of Revengeance. Revengeance mode can only be used in expert mode. Enables the rage mechanic. When rage is maxed, press. We don't have a key for it. To activate rage mode, you gain rage when in proximity to enemies or by using special items. Enables the adrenaline mechanic. When it's max, press a key to activate adrenaline mode. Gain adrenaline whenever a boss is alive. Getting hit drops adrenaline back to zero. Getting hit while adrenaline is maxed will reduce damage taken a lot. All enemies spawn more frequently. Certain non-boss enemies and projectiles deal more damage. Makes certain enemies block lifesteal and nerfs the effectiveness of lifesteal. Nerfs the effectiveness of hallowed armor set bonus. All boss minions no longer drop hearts. So this is this is a self-imposed challenge. There is it's there's some it seems like there's some benefits to it, but overall it makes things harder. Changes all boss AIs and some enemy AIs. All boss minions no longer drop heart. Uh, increase the health and damage of all bosses. Interesting. Uh, what's this? Tormented Mind of Malice. Malice mode. Um can only be used in death mode? This mode is subjective? What? Don't expect to live. All effects from death mode are enabled, including the following. Nerfs the effectiveness of lifesteal a bit more. Enrages all bosses and gives them far more aggressive AI. Okay. Well, we'll put those aside for later, perhaps. Squirrel Squire Staff? We already have a summon. And we already have a mage weapon. Uh, we got a tin broadsword. That's a little bit better. So I'll be selling this. And a hammer. Sure. Um... I guess I'll put my summons here, maybe? Th throwing brick? 14 rogue damage? What? And it's a material. Hey, guide. What does this do? We can make... Apoctolith. Voidstone, Sea Prism, Luminil. I have a feeling this is going to be somewhat late game. Oh, is this a friend? It, it might be a friend. Can we put our squirrel over here? No, it's not a friend. Rover drive. So the slimes... There were two enemy factions here. The slimes and that rover. Pog, pog, pog. Zura. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Activates protective shield that grants 15 defense for 10 seconds. The shield then dissipates and recharges for 20 seconds before being reactivated. So, is it visible? Also, it's a material. Uh, what are we... Oh my god. <laughs> okay, that's a lot of stuff. Grand Gelatin, that's probably Corruption or Crimson versions, or not. The Absorber. Okay, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Um, Scepter of Death, good grief. Let's get to making some NPC homes. How high can I jump right now? Uh, whatever. This will do for the... That is a shield. Does it only appear when enemies are close? How much wood did I get? 400 or so? That 
should be fine. Actually, maybe for the early base, I'll put the ceiling... Well, that bit of terrain is a bit... A bit in the way. Maybe I won't be as strict with the arena -less thing and allow myself to flatten this area properly. Um, so that we can have a nice flat area for... Uh, what is it called? Uh, for the Old One's army. Right, so we want this to be here, I think. Good luck, guide. And NPC Shack Go Burr. Something like this. Is this big enough? Missing a wall. Yeah, I, I know that much. Uh, rip guide, I guess. Can I... Oh, I've got my summon. Go, little squirrel, go. That zombie's got a lot of health. I don't like guide's chances. Uh, rip guide. Well, what can you do? I did my best, okay. I mean, apart from the whole forgetting that I had a summon for a while. I'm, I'm building the first NPC home. I'm not used to having a summon at this point. Alright. I think we need... 40, if this is the correct size. It might be too small. Too small, okay. Where's that door? Alright, is this a home? Missing a chair. That seems good. This housing is suitable. Alright, let's make a home for the merchant. Um, actually, I think I found out that they count as being separated if it's three towers apart. Oh, that's a gold coin. This... Having a summon at the beginning is nice. I mean, it obviously makes the beginning of the game very easy. So I want to leave room for, um... A pylon here. Wait, that's not in the middle, is it? Unacceptable. There is no middle. Well, I guess these three tiles are in the middle. So we want... One... Two... One, two, three. Is that right? Give me a chair. And then over here. I think that's it. Get rid of the dirt so that enemies can't spawn in here. Oh, 
Oh, no, summon is gone. So it's like a sentry. I think it's exactly like a sentry. Except that it can start in the air and then sort of glide downwards. And then it just stays on the ground. It's kind of hard to see right now. Where's our wooden walls? I can make a boomerang. Should be exactly 40 if this is the right size. It's not. Missing a wall. This housing is suitable. Let's check the size. Oh, what was that? Summoner weapon proficiency level up? What? Seven and seven. Okay, cool. Wait, was that just the inside? Yes. What do we got here? Block swap, hot baron locked. Just vanilla things. Um, okay. I think it's like one gold or 50 silver or something uh, that gives us, uh, gets the merchant to show up. So we should get him to show up tomorrow. That's, that moon is looking a little bit different. This is a good start, I suppose. How much damage is this? 18. I should be able to handle any... Um... I should be able to handle any... Vultures. So I'll go make the houses ahead of time for the nurse and... Uh, the arms dealer in the morning. Nightfire, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Calamity, nice. Yes, indeed. We're just getting started. Well, it wasn't my intention to make some ultimate cheese to farm the first night, but this works. Especially with the squirrel. Does... I think it pierces. We'll be able to see it a bit better during the day. But I think... I think the projectile from the squirrel actually pierces enemies. Ow! Oh my god! No, how did you... Tiny zombie fell through the one tile crack. I think just the short ones can fall through there. I think I've seen that once before, but I thought it was like a glitch or something. But I'm pretty sure it was a short zombie last time that happened. soon. Do I have any free tools? A brick that shatters if stealth is full. What's the stealth mechanic? Do I need some special armor or something? Oh, I have a bow as well. Uh, no you don't. Uh, it kind of looks like it pierces, but it doesn't actually hit the next target. Okay. Ten K cogs incoming. Waiting for the next Factorio stream. That'll be uh, Saturday. Uh, you can check the schedule, so it'll clear up any confusion over. 
Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Australian Saturday. What the heck is that? Uh... That's the second... Okay, it is hostile. Nope. It would have two-shot me. So, so far we've got all of these freebies um, that make the early game incredibly easy, but there's these enemies uh, that are way, 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 way more dangerous. The merchant has arrived. Fantastic. What do we got? <gasps> he sells bottles! Oh, that's so nice. Wormhole potion as well. Teleports you to a player. Very, very nice. I am... I am very much appreciating... Uh... The quality of life stuff already. Um, let's get a piggy bank and probably some health potions would be good. Um, sell the copper short sword. What was that coming from the sky? Uh, what else? Pretty much just normal things. Shurikens are really nice against the Eye of Cthulhu. Alright, let's put this stuff away. Um, for the moment, I'm just going to put some chests behind the guide's room. Because it would take uh, quite a while to fill out the entire base with copper tools, of course. The guide has arrived. Fantastic. Workbench. Wood walls. Uh, it seems to have gotten rid of the really quick acceleration of, like, holding right-click to to pick up a whole stack of this that came in a recent patch to Terraria. That's unfortunate. Alright, we're going to want some platforms. That's too high, actually. Chest goes here. There's already a traveling merchant. I've only got one gold. 1.76 gold. What are you selling? Two of the things that we need. Can we scrounge up five gold? Probably not. Definitely not. I'm not selling these anyway. Uh, he sells Dynasty Wood fairly often. I'm not going to worry about it just yet. Actually, can we use Dynasty Wood for... For wood things? I've only got 300. 50... Uh, so one silver for two... 200 for one gold. That's a bit steep for now. Let's just put our wood back here. If you see a pig catch it, it's worth 10 gold. Okay. Um, wood goes here also. We can place this incredibly quickly. Alright, let's put our stuff away. Can I make a furnace already? I don't have any stone, I don't think. 
Give me that stone. Remember when you had to stay on the one piece of stone until it was mined? Um, alright, furnace. Furnace. Fantastic. Piggy bank. Oh, I already have a mana crystal? I don't recall crafting that. Um, ocean things can go in here. Give me that bottle. Oh, and we can already get the pylon if we had the money. 8 gold, 90 silver, so he's not that happy. Why is he not that happy? I like the scenery. Lots of privacy. I don't think this counts as them being neighbors. Weirdly enough. I'll put another chest up here. In fact, I think I'll put most of the potion ingredients in this one. Torches go here. We need to do the torch god. Uh, tin ore. What's this? Wolfram metal scrap. I guess it's from those rare enemies. Well, it's I don't know how rare they really are yet. Uh, what do we have? Wolfram Helmet. Leggings? Uh, it is quite... low level. Beth Kind Disorder. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Enjoying new chill stream. Thank you. Uh, Potion of Recall goes in slot 4. Um, acorns go in the ores chest because sometimes we make gemstones. I'll put miscellaneous in here for now. What's this? Satanic Scepter of Death. Okay, I've already spent a minute reading these two. I'll look at that a bit later. Throwing Brick. Prove its resistance by throwing it upwards and catching it with your face? What? I don't think that actually does anything. Oh yeah, I looked at this already. I wonder if Guide will tell me anything that he hasn't before. Uh, looks like vanilla stuff. Alright, so this stuff's going to go in here for now. Cactus is a potion ingredient. Dirt and... Oh, this stacks to like 10,000 now. So I'll just hold on to it. It's going to go in my inventory anyway. This three item setup... The difficulty of calamity. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I read these two so far. Um. All right. I'm gonna put wood in slot F. Squirrel is Q. And I think we're ready to venture forth. Can I make that? No, it still shows. Wait. Why was the the shield didn't deactivate because I made it invisible? Right. Let's grab some worms. Uh, what did I change my shortcut key to? I think... I think I still want to use... Uh, I think I want to swap these two. F... V... ZC. 
And then this is mouse 5. I, I, I noticed it had like middle mouse, mouse 4, mouse 5 in the controls, which is seems a bit weird, but... F... F... V... Uh, ZC... Okay. Don't think you'll escape. We got Daybloom, and we got Seeds. Got some recalls if things get dicey. The desert background is a bit different. Take all the cactus I can get. Hey, Velda. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What was that? Something just loaded. I'm not used to that happening in Terraria. Can we get some more worms, please? Fantastic. Oh, I forgot to replant all those trees as well. That is some unusual world gen right there. I'll just leave a trail of daybloom seeds. Drain it? Uh, maybe. That's actually a nice convenient fishing spot. We'll see what's on the right first. Unusual yet. First chest. Wand of Sparking, but we already have this thing. Wand of Sparking is a material now. Interesting. Also, it's a lot faster. A little less damage, but probably more DPS than our spell. Whoops. Uh-oh. Um, that's actually pretty dangerous. Oh, no. Um, I think I want to avoid that. Also, I didn't pick up the chest. I'm sure I'll find it again pretty easily. There's another chest. We already have our aglet. Something that I couldn't find for myself last run. Like, ever. Is that a demon altar? Give to me this, please. Let's watch out for traps already. I'm sure we're not deep enough yet, but... Best practice. I'm not used to the super fast placement speed. That is another rover. Can I kill it safely from here? Probably. So probably my first armor set is going to be these things. Oh, I should just keep putting this sentry up just to check around corners even. Not used to being this well equipped so early. Kill everything that might look kind of like a touch plate. And... Make sure we don't actually step on a touch plate. That is a touch plate. Get out of here. Oh, I was going to say that means there's a dart trap over here, but actually it was a boulder. That would have killed us right quick. Um, that is slime.
fantastic. I tried to jump, uh, double jump already. Grab some tin. Careful. That is rail. Fantastic. Let's be a little bit careful. What's that? I... whatever it is, I don't like it. Crawler. So it seems to have a charger AI. Oh yeah, I can just put this here. Patiently wait for it to die. This are running gem bags? Do you mean they dropped them? They drop gems. I guess that makes sense. It is called a sapphire crawler. Fantastic. So even without gem farming, uh, gems are a renewable resource. Glow stick. Cobweb, please. And the iron. What have we got down here? Not what I was doing, meant, uh, meaning to do. One of the nice things about rail is, you know, that's not going to be any uh, touch plates underneath it. We got a water chest. Nothing very good just yet. Uh, I do have a blowpipe. That's not bad at this stage. That looks like it could be a touch plate. I haven't picked up a touch plate that I can use for finding red wire yet. I guess I could have picked up those active stone blocks under the boulder. Oh, here we go. Dart trap. Yes, please. hook. I forgot already. I guess forgot isn't quite the right word. That crawler doesn't seem to be... Okay, never mind. Where did it go? Do I have rope? I have rope. I think we lost it. Undead Hunter, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Such an easy game to follow what's happening when you've never played it. Nice. Especially at the beginning. one damage to these things. Alright, there we go. Morning. 
new playthrough, yes indeed. The Narcotic Flame, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Um, I can't quite be bothered to reach Amethyst, the worst gemstone. Maybe if I find like 12 of it and I need three more for a grappling hook. I wish when you changed the keybinds for these things, it would change the little number up here. Still getting used to what might be the new keys that I stick with. Silver. Let's grab some rope. Whoops. Probably should have looked where I leapt first. Speaking of which, I should have um I should have used the water there as a parachute. It's not too late. Um, let's put this here, and almost die, perfect. And then rope goes up here, what is that? It's just a critter. Let's get this water. this. Perfect. And now we're stuck. Fantastic. Is that blink root? That is not blink root. Ooh, a house. What do we get? Gold chest? Yes, please. Uh, let's check for traps first. I should have done that already. Okay. Chandelier. And we get magic mirror. Fantastic. Already we're never going to be short on uh, recall potions. Where am I going to put these things? Can I put anything in my accessory slot? No. I didn't bring the piggy bank. I'll probably drop the glow sticks. Let's chuck them out here. What is... Oh, it's another crawler. Nice. Uh, I also need room for the chest itself. Uh... Waterleaf is kind of precious at this stage. I don't care about some dye. Although the teal is harder to find than most. Now that I th think of it. Can we put anything in the ammo slots? Um, I don't think so. We've already got gel there. What about stars? I haven't picked up any stars. I'm going to have to ditch something. Do not open the can of worms. Oh, the potions stack more. Oh, that is already... I'm already appreciating that quality of life. Wow. Uh, whatever. This can stay here. Let's head back. But not before I pick up this stuff. Uh, Amethyst, actually. So we have a new problem. 
I don't want to leave behind some gems. Sandcastle bucket. We'll come back for it. It's fine. And it looks like it is dusk. Oh. Well, that's one way to bring everything back. Pick stack. Uh, wooden chest. Potions that we're not using can go here for now. I take it back. Potions that we're not using at the moment can go in the piggy bank. Uh, I guess we only got worms out of the can of worms. That makes sense. Grenades. Gems. Iron. Silver. Platinum already. That's good. Am I going to be using the blowpipe? Probably not. On second thought, it's probably... It's probably going to have better DPS than our little topaz staff. good start as well. Oh, apparently I can't accidentally kill worms even though I don't have... This is what I was thinking of earlier, herb bag. If I open that we're gonna have fewer inventory slow oh, crap! Okay, let's be a little bit more careful. Usually there's a lot more platforms. Also, is it my imagination or am I falling faster? than I might expect. If we see a gnome, we might be in trouble. I'll take that. jump to that. Fantastic. Uh, I kind of wish I had those glow sticks with me. I haven't seen where this goes. Oh, I see. That's a bit of unusual world gen. Uh-oh. Nice light source. Mining potion. Nice. Uh, I will take more of those amethysts since we are creeping towards a grappling hook. Dialed T hacks for variety. Wasn't disappointed. Cool band name. Good to see you again. A welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Sounds positively relaxing. Adds two new difficulty modes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I read, a, I read a little bit about that already. Just looking at those items. Um, this is bad. This is bad. Okay. We're fine. I didn't mean to go spelunking again yet, but I got a little bit carried away. We already have an umbrella. That's nice. Um, how about C for the umbrella? I sense traps. I don't have any glow sticks. Oh, I can light things up this way. Are we already at a dead end? I forgot to change. 
Oh, right. I was using Z for my map key. That's why it, pressing it doesn't bring up a map now. I think I like having one more key to quickly select hotbar things, though. So we'll leave it on M. Alright, let's go back for the moment. It's actually daytime. Fantastic. Loom up there? Oh, I didn't see it. Drink the shine potion? I've only got like one, right? Oh, two, actually. Um, build a potion. I don't think I particularly care about, but we've got plenty of room in here. That's a lot of herbs. Uh, we need to get either a whole lot of clay or we need the dryad. Dryad is a lot easier. Just spend a really small amount of money on... Um, on planty, uh, planters, that is. Let's make this room a bit bigger. And... Chests just go here for now. Would you please move? Thank you. This scrap can go in here. This scrap can go in here. That's actually... That's actually arguably better than my sword. And it's a breathing rod. I'll hold on to that for now. <laughs> um, quick stack all the things. Oh, wait. Let's go plant some more day bloom. Give me those seeds. I think I'll swap this in here. Whoops. I didn't expect to murder a bird with a blowpipe. I mean with a breathing reed. It's actually got really nice uh, knockback and reach for this stage. What is this? Desert Feather? Where did I... Desert Feather material. Interesting. Now equip all ninja gear and hide underwater? Yes. It also somehow lets us breathe longer underwater. Not sure exactly how that works. These things hit hard? I think they do. Yeah, those seeds are actually pretty effective. Um, I should really sort out my inventory. Alright, we're not fishing yet. I need to get some stars so that we can make the enchanted night crawlers. And then potion ingredients. There's plenty of room, so for now we'll just do potion ingredients and seeds in here. I need to get some bottled water, actually. Pinwheel. Perfect. Um, I've already got that. I'm sure we're going to keep collecting health potions faster than we use them. You know what? Uh, this is the perfect time to just grab a mining helmet. 
So for now, I don't think we'll be carrying shine potions. Um, I should probably make some some kind of armor, right? How many of these... What do these do? Sun Spirit Staff. Summons a solar spirit to protect you. And it's a material. Death Valley Duster. Interesting. We can make really early game ranged gear. 20% not to consume ammo already. 4% ranged crit. 10% increased movement speed. Immunity to the Mighty Wind debuff. Interesting. Is that just when you're in the desert and it's really windy? 5% increased range crit. So no actual damage. You can make a flying carpet? That's cute. And it's a material. You can make a sandstorm in a bottle. I love this. Oh, it's raining. Um... Do we have water leaf seeds? We do. It's a bit late, but if I had planted them in the desert, we could maybe have collected them by now. Narcotic Flame, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Is it just me, or are you moving faster than normal? I think so. Yeah, there's a lot of... Calamity seems to like to add a lot of quality of life. If we find any water leaf that's just appeared naturally, we'll be able to get some more seeds while it's raining. Uh, assuming it's blooming, uh, assuming it's grown up, that is. So, probably not. I guess there's no other reason to get excited about rain this early in the game. It gives you more fishing power, I think, but we don't even have a rod. Nor would I want to try with, like, the wooden... Uh, wooden fishing rod. Desert fossil I'll just put in here for now. And where did I put those... Wolfram metal... Where did they go? We've got nine amethyst already. If I can find six more, that's our first... Uh, first grappling hook. Oh yeah, I was looking for water for the bottle. You should enable revengeance mode. It adds new unique drops. New abilities at the start of the game. Um, I'd, I'd really like to play this completely blind, if if that's okay. Oh, the calamity increased exponentially as you go through. Uh oh. We got two scrap and a another rover drive. Plus one percent movement speed, let's go. Alright, so bottled water goes in. Potion ingredients. Apparently we don't have the ingredients to make anything. We should be able to make regen potions, at the very least. Uh, essence? Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Does this not count as being in front of a crafting station? It really doesn't. Look at that. Okay. Uh, so we got... Regen... We've already got some swiftness. Night Owl. 
can we not get iron skin? Let's grab some iron. And I'm wearing a mining helmet, so I'll skip the shine potions for now. But we've already got our little panic button here. Uh, a boomerang might not be the worst idea. No, uh, I think the blowpipe is fine for now. How much iron do I have? Or silver? Uh, we can also do platinum, but not enough to do anything with it. Silver. I can't make anything just yet. How much of this Wolfram stuff? Uh, how, how much of either of these do we need to make a set? We need two, three, six. Only six. It doesn't do much, but the ranged set is only six of these. And then... Twelve? What is an energy core? Uh-oh. Um, let's see. Five for the hat. Magic, melee, ranged, rogue, minion. So there's five classes. So 12, 17, and 25. That seems like a lot. We're, it's probably going to be out of date by the time we could get it. Nine gives us a pretty terrible fishing pole. This barely works, but it's better than nothing, indeed. Uh, axe? 60% axe power. That's barely better than a copper. Extra damage to enemies shot at point blank. Interesting. Stealth strikes make the knife fly further and hit several times at once. Summon a wolf from droid to fight for you. Okay. We're halfway to having one of those. Let's put accessories in here. Miscellaneous crap in there. And I'd like to get back to exploring this part, especially since I know that there's one, two, three amethyst here. And we need what? Five? We need six to make a grappling hook. I'll carry it with me. In fact, I'll carry the sapphire with me in case we find a bunch of those. is good. The Wolfram one. Oh, there's our water leaf. It might be a bit tricky to get where we're trying to go safely. How many seeds do I have? Only six. Okay. That ran out surprisingly quickly. What was that? Summoner weapon proficiency. I think that was because my summoner weapon proficiency went up. Seeds, please. Oh, I killed the Daybloom. Rip. Uh, what am I doing? F. I think we might have to put back at this rate. Oh, that's... that's a problem. Not looking as bad as expected, actually. Uh, 
Ow. I'm just realizing I haven't seen a single fallen star. That seems improbable, unless the rules have changed. Too many and not enough. So many new items in this mod. Yes, indeed. Marshall. Good. That's a grenade. Oh, and there's a star. Alright. Give me the star. Let's get more seeds while we're at it. Whoops. Sorry, goldfish. Sorry, grasshopper. Sorry, whatever that was. Scorpion, uh, I'm gonna let you be. do we have? 52, that's more like it. Uh, get out of my face, please. That's a worm. That's also a worm. That's an eye. Zombie holding a zombie arm holding a torch. Yes, indeed. They can actually drop the zombie arm as a weapon, if you're lucky. More than likely, by the time you get it, it's not relevant anymore. Oh, let's, uh, let's plant those trees. Where did I put them? Wait, what? I think I misclicked something here. Uh, Christopher, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Another one. I guess that's something to get excited about. Early game rain, it means lots of worms. Alright, that's our seeds gone. And quick stack. Let's go get our rattling hook. I have a lot of arrows, actually. The bow doesn't do nearly as much damage. Oh, I don't have an anvil yet. No wonder I couldn't make anything. Um, this chest can move. And there we go. Silver chainmail? Yes, please. The bow is only 9 damage, the blowpipe is actually much better. Wait, we can make a radar? Huh. Don't tell me we can make everything we need to, fit, to, to make the cell phone. Okay, uh, chainmail, plus 2 life regen? Yes please. And then I was going to do the boots, but I guess we're not doing that yet. 
So we got, what, uh, five defense now? That's a lot more than... Oh, you get three defense from a shackle? And you can make a band of regen out of it? Okay. What can an aglet do? Wait, plus eight percent stealth generation? Okay, aglet still just becomes lightning boots. Uh, and this thing is a material that needs a million other inputs. Alright, let's go after... I might just grab some... Oh wait, I forgot I got rid of all my acorns for now. Let's go after our first grappling hook. I can probably increase my mana. No, I need five. Still only got a hundred max life. So what does this thing do again? Activates a protective shield that grants 15 defense for 10 seconds and then recharges for 20 seconds after being reactivated. Is the activation not triggered by taking damage or anything? Is it just like turning on and off effectively at random as far as we're concerned? We got to loot this earlier. Let's get some rope up here. Nope, nope, nope. Let's stay focused. I want to get that. Ow! Uh, that amethyst that we know is down here. That's going to get me very close to a grappling hook. Live and let live with the slime. That's our first demon altar. I just tried to use a grappling hook. Today I learned if you don't have a grappling hook and you try to use it from rail, you just fall off. Um, let's see. Touch plate is here. And here as well. Fantastic. That's just some money. Oh. Sorry, snail. I never played with it before, but I'm surprised how much I miss the guide to crow. That was that was what we're looking for. I just saw a sparkle. That's our first grappling hook. I'm pretty sure, unless they changed the recipe for some reason, but I seriously doubt that uh, they're making a lot of things easier, not harder with Calamity. Amethyst hook. Oh, it actually gives you stats on this. 18.75 tiles, launch velocity 10, reel back velocity 11, pull velocity. What's the difference between those two? Reel back, that must mean if you miss when it pulls it back in. Amethyst hook. It's not, it's probably literally the worst hook, but. Why can't I right click to swap it into the hook slot? Well, whatever. It's the worst hook, but it's our first hook. It's fine. Trees explode into existence. Let's go check out this rail. 
you can craft hearts? Oh. Have you played Terraria before? Yes, but not Calamity. What the heck is that? These things are kind of scary, but they're actually pretty weak. Fleeting Wolfram Battery. More summon damage. Okay, cool. And we got two scrap metal. We need like two or three more. And we can make a summon. I mean, we've already got a summon, but no doubt it will be an improvement. Does it again? Oh no, it's just biome soup. There's some sand under the ground. Well, I was going to say that'll be our sand mine, but um, we can actually just buy bottles. So we're not going to have to worry about that. The only sand we're going to... That's interesting. This feels deliberate. I don't think this is a random... Uh, accident of world gen. What's that? Nothing? Oh, I see. It's, uh, a dead cow or something. Nice. I think we only need one more desert feather. Um, and we can make a set. What the heck is that? Um... That seems... Dangerous. Uh... Okay. Is this a random mini-boss, or like... Or what? I can kill it. I just gotta be careful. I'm gonna assume that it's gonna one-shot me. Don't tell me it despawned. No, it didn't. Oh no 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 And furthermore no. Okay, 36 health, nothing in sight. Uh what did we get? Did we only get gold from that? Did it drop nothing? Is is that our prize? One gold? Geld torn? Good to see you again. A oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Vulture out of nowhere? I mean... Where I was focusing, it was like out of nowhere. That is a mini-boss. Indeed. Okay. Maybe next time we'll actually get something for our efforts. Is not that bad yet. Is 
something is coming. Another rover drive? Exactly the same as the one we've got. Uh, this looks swimmable. Especially with the reed. Let's leave some torches as we go. Need some rope up here. Uh-oh. They're pretty easy to kill, actually. How many of these do we have? Six already. What are you doing? I don't think I want to stand in that. So, is it being inside that radius that would hurt, or only on the edge, I wonder. Oh! Sneaky. I think I hit both of them. I can't see what I am doing. I kind of want to know, to be honest. Okay, nothing? Energy core. Oh, I think we need some of those for the uh, for the armor build. No worms. That's the crimson. I don't think we're ready for the crims. That is a that is a fat slime. I just want to kill this one thing and go. Okay, what do we get? Lighted gel. Base looks a little different with all these trees. Okay, so energy core is we need one for each piece of armor. So we need three in total. At least for one class we need three. Blighted gel. Sludge splotch. Rogue damage. Okay. Overloaded sludge. Summons the slime god. Not consumable. How does that work? Zerg potion? Vastly increases enemy spawn rate. Okay. Uh, Zen potion. Vastly decreases. Beach ball. Bleach ball. Favorite this item to prevent aquatic scourge from naturally spawning near you. Radiant ooze. You emit light and regen life more quickly at night. Purified gel and blighted gel. Okay. Um, so this goes here. Bottles go here. Uh, any more potions I want to make? Probably not. Probably better to have at least one more of each of these, though. Um, 
Are you still doing class switch on death? Nah, that was just to make the expert one a bit more spicy. We're playing master. So I don't feel the need to hand me uh, handicap myself in that way. Mandible. Makes some new things. Summons the desert scourge when used in the desert. Enrages outside the desert. Not cons Does this mean... Does this not consumable mean that it's it'll summon a boss, like, repeatedly? It doesn't get used up? I've never actually used the sand gun early enough for it to make sense. It's also a material now. That's interesting. Um, and I guess this can go in here. Okay. Can I... Do I have to have that achievement thing blocking the view just that little bit? I don't know. Uh, we don't need to carry gems with us for now, since we already got our grappling hook. Let's get some more stars. Get our maximum mana up. here as well. Topaz Staff seems to be our best consistent damage deal at this point. How many stars do I have? Seven. Fantastic. Even if it's doing one damage, the bumps from the squirrel are very helpful. An owl? My defense is 23 right now. And now it's 8. I'm not clear on what triggers the, uh... the shield thing. get proficiency with other skills going up, like Summoner. I think I've done quite a bit of damage with the, uh, with magic and ranged. And a little bit with, uh, melee. Oh, I didn't go down here before, did I? To the right. Or all the way to the left, for that matter. Yes, you do? Okay. Way we go. I forgot to get glow sticks as well. These minecarts don't go very fast. Or the, the basic one, I mean. Missed. is light. Uh, 
Yeah, it seems to just activate at random. Unless there was an enemy down here. Doesn't seem like it. What world size are we playing on? Large. Large and Crimson, because I haven't played Crimson that much lately. I usually... I play Corruption more often than Crimson, but I've really sort of neglected it for a while. I think I went random and got Corruption a couple of times as well. Can I not jump this high? Yeah, I can. Who has... Oh, we've been here. Nice. I'll definitely take some more sapphire. Can I not take fall damage? Fantastic. Oh yeah, the loom, that's what that's the one you were referring to. Um, I think my bags were full when I was here before anyway, so I'll leave this here for later. That's a decent chunk of iron. Likes to cheese the eater of wells. Uh how so? Toya? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, the way I beat the Eater of Worlds is basically just get enough defense. Get enough defense and damage and all the buff potions. And then you just have to find the right spot where... Uh-oh. Uh, find the right spot where the... Projectiles aren't going to get thrown at you as much. Traveling merchant has arrived. Good timing. What do we got? Pretty pink dress. Uh, I've only got two gold. I haven't been putting it in my piggy bank, have I? Don't think so. Get back here. Yeah, I've only got 2.9 gold. Nowhere near enough. Nothing too exciting yet, anyway. Unless we end up struggling to get our... Um, uh, cell phone stuff. I should really finish these walls here, otherwise we're going to get zombies. Do you want zombies? Because that's how you get zombies. Give Thank PLZ do 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 take NRG. Yes, indeed. Uh, Gelton, thank you for the bit. Well, uh, much appreciated. Thank you. Give plus do 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 take NRG. Get the pretty pink dress. Uh, can I afford it? Even? Pretty pink dress. 20 gold? Oh, no. <laughs> Yep, that's, uh, that's out of our price range. Unfortunate. Okay, um, so I think... Let's set a goal here. Should I start on the elevator? Nah, not without explosives or... A better pickaxe. Do I want to explore more? Yes. Oh, that's interesting. That's from that uh, that enemy that made the the light. Haven't gone very far to the left. Let's see what we can find. And I think we're 
good for now. Fashion doesn't come cheap, apparently. I want to get the Wolfram, one of the Wolfram armor sets. Or, I think, actually, I think we li need literally one more, um, Vulture, right? It seems like they always drop those, uh, what are they called? Well, we're about to find out. Desert Feather. We got two as well. Okay, what do we need? Uh, we need 20 sandstone bricks to make a summon. But I was looking at... We need silk. How much cobweb have I farmed up? Uh, 115. I don't think this is going to cut it. Maybe. We need eight. We need 15 plus 8, 23. We've got 16. I don't have boots. We could start with that. 10% increased movement speed? Sure. Well, that's better than nothing. Um, I'll put these two together for now. So we're just looking for more cobweb. Um, also, we've got... We've got enough to make the sun spirit stuff as well, so we need sandstone. Sand and stone, plus furnace, I think. Sandstorm in a bottle. Six feather, that's a bit of a problem for now. But I'll definitely get that at some point. Okay, so we're looking for cobwebs and sand. And victory shard? Not sure what that is. What class do you expect you'll go for? I don't know. I'd like to give them all a try to some extent. I really liked the uh, hybrid gear, but there's not enough of it in vanilla Terraria. Early hard mode in particular, there's frost armor for physical, uh, crystal assassin for ranged and mage, and the forbidden desert what's-its um, for mage plus summoner. I liked those, but... There's not nearly... There's nothing remotely super late game. Oh, that was a bit bad. Um, there's really nothing that carries beyond that. What's that? Well, from Battery, we've already got one. Fleeting Risk. Okay. What does the Battery do again? Summon damage. Yet. Oh, okay, how many of these? No, 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 come back. No, come back. No. I need stuff. Oh, it's stuck. Nice. I hope Calamity comes to console. Good luck. Uh, so we got ten of these in my inventory right now. I think we just need a couple of cores. And we'll have an armor set. That's a lot of blue slime. 
Why doesn't it hit? What do we have? Nothing too exciting. Oh, I could make a fancy boomerang if I save up a few fallen stars. And we got a radar. Nice. It's less exciting when you can just craft it out of a handful of iron, but still. Oh, that's convenient. Let's go up there. Okay. Is it my imagination or are frames dropping? Not like Twitch, I mean the performance of the game is actually What is it doing in the background? Three time robe greater than grapple? Four time lol? What? I still haven't found any heart. Oh, okay. Good shot, even if I say so. We got another energy core. We just need one more. There it is. Now we can make our armor. It seems like these things are getting more common as I get further from middle of the map, but I could be imagining it, or it could be a coincidence. Every time you could use your grapple, you use ropes? Oh, right. I forgot I had the grapple. It's not a very good grapple, either. But, yeah. Might have to play with the settings. Something, something definitely feels off. I, I can feel the frame rate dropping slightly in some of these high altitude areas. Or maybe it's the background. I think it's when the background changes back to this that the frame rate gets normal again. Um, I guess you can stay there. I'm not that it, I'm not that worried about farming you anymore. Lots of day bloom. Fantastic. Grapple. 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 There we go. And there's the dungeon. Cannot let you enter, blah blah blah. As long as we don't go deep enough to spawn any dungeon enemy, we won't get clapped. I'm not seeing any uh, early water bolt. This is, uh, I don't know, it feels very, very elevated, this area. Maybe it's just because of the background. I can't see what my depth is. I remember this place lost many artifacts here by mistake? What? You missed some dirt? Okay.
Let's go to the ocean. We'll get the angler. Oh. Oh, they're buffing each other. Oh, that one's buffing that one. I think. Okay. So that's a support enemy. Which means I can just walk up and murder it. How many of these drones? There we go. I'm tempted- oh, Crimson. Wait, does Crimson pass the dungeon? Um, well, that's going to make getting to the ocean a bit more complicated. I could try making a run for it, and if we get in trouble... Oh, I didn't see you there. Oh. My trigger... F my itchy finger is on the recall button. This looks different. Oh, it's a... it's an oasis, I think? What the heck? Uh, the water hurts. Oh my god! Um, I was taking one damage, and then it just did 56 damage. Um, what? It said I was killed by steam. I don't think I ran into an enemy. Where's the edge of the map? Relatively close to that. I'm glad I wasn't playing hardcore. Abyss bio? I have no idea. Alright. Um, quick stack. And... What's this a material in again? Jelly charged battery? Plus one max minions. Okay. Wolfram something or others. Let's go. Looks like we'll be able to make everything, almost. Uh, let's deny entry to our friend. Oh! Okay. Not what I had in mind. It's fine. Uh, let's see. Four defense, two defense. It's going to be a bit of a defense downgrade. But we've got... Well, not overall it's not, I don't think. We still need sand and cobwebs for the other armor set. So we got... Crit strike chance if we go melee. 10% increased magic damage. 10% increased melee. Wait, what? Oh, this is the... Chest. And this is the boots. Why can't we right click to swap armor sets anymore? I guess it did the same thing with the grappling hook. Did I change a setting? Um, it's not mod configuration. I didn't even see that before. Interface. Controls. No. General. No. Uh, other text boxes, something mana. I meant to get a mod for a better health display so I don't have to look to the corner of the screen as well. It's not video. Can we get rid of the backgrounds that are dropping frame rate somewhere? In some places. Background off. Okay. 
Uh... Yeah, I don't know. Does does Calamity do this? But I can't right click to swap these. What kind of helmet do we want? We get the most. We only get plus one. We get the most defense from melee, but I think we'll go ranged for now since our best weapon is blowpipe. What's our set bonus? Plus five defense when below 50% life, and plus three defense overall. That's not bad. Let's see the rest of them, or as many as we can afford. We can do two more. So let's go melee and mage. Uh, the set bonus is exactly the same. Looks like. Yeah. Enemies are more likely to target you. Nothing. And nothing. Okay, uh, let's put those away for now, and I can't even quick swap these, can I? Oh, I can. That's surprising. I guess I'll hold on to this so that I can have a, a Forever Shine potion. So I actually lose one defense when I go back to silver. But only if I, only if it makes the difference with the set bonus. All right, quick stack all the stuff. Um, I don't think I'm ever going to bother using the tin bow. How about this? And can we make it better? Let's get some stars. An owl. You have three cores now. Uh, yep. I used them up. How many stars do I need? I think it's like 10 to upgrade the boomerang. What's our summon damage? It hasn't changed. I thought we had some bonus summon damage. Never mind. Oh, it's from this thing. 7%. That's not gonna... That's not gonna beef it up by 1%. feel like fighting you, um, so I'm not going to. How many stars do we need, Sir Guide? We need victory shards, actually, and gold bars. Never mind. Where should we go next? So I have, I have to get past the crimson in either direction. Uh, to reach the ocean. So I guess we're going down. Let's put this away. Well, I'll sell it, actually. Um, okay. And why don't we grab our... I should make a better pickaxe, if I can. And then we'll use the... Yeah, I kind of... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I almost forgot we can make... Uh... We can make stuff out of Wolfram. Wolfram metal. Am I missing something? The bow is 10. This is 12. Uh, the staff is 12. Pickaxe is a barely an upgrade. I, th I think I'll skip that one. 
And the fishing pole is terrible. Are we able to make a fishing pole out of wood? Or did they take that away? We can actually make the squirrel stuff out of wood and an acorn. <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing... Oh, there it is. Wooden fishing pole. It's pretty bad. It's a material, though. Workbench. Crafting... Early bloom rod? Uh, this looks kind of late game. Never mind. I think I will actually make the first rod out of Wolfram. But we don't have quite enough to make anything right now. Except for another helmet. I guess I could have a peek at the summon in that case. Uh, let's see. Oh, it was rogue and minion as well. So there's two more classes. Summon. Set bonus is... The same, but also plus one minion. Uh, that's actually... This thing is a sentry, though. So I can only have one. Okay. Um, I guess in that case... Let's go with ranged until we get... Uh, until we get a summon. Where did I put it? Here it is. Pro game aim? Uh, thank you, I think. Alright, we got our mining potions. We've got... Spelunking potions. I'll take gill potions just in case. This is a material as well. Potion of Omniscience <laughs> highlights nearby creatures, enemy projectiles, danger sources, and treasure. 15 minutes. Hunter, Spelunker, Danger Sense. That is glorious. I love that. Gold Dust plus Spelunker gives us... Spelunker plus 15% mining speed. It's equipable? Oh, nice. Very nice. Alright, let's get to mining. Doop, boop, 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 boop. I should also try to get a gnome to spawn here. Although I haven't really had the need to buff luck just yet. Almost time for a break, I suppose. What time is it? Yeah, we'll do like another half hour. Grab that silver. I'll probably go for silver armor before I go for Eye of Cthulhu. Um, that's a lot of sand. Are we under the desert? No. I do... Oh. Well then. That do be the underground desert. I'm just gonna see if I can steal a little something from here. And I'll keep my teleport home button. I'll keep my runaway finger itchy. That was surprisingly close. Oh, this is sandstone. Uh, wait, no. That's not the sandstone that we need to craft that thing, is it? 
I need to do the Torch God so we can get biome torches all the time. Alright, there's our friend. I kind of like the look of the uh, desert torches. Totally about everyone's health. Heal, teal, tail, late, hate. <laughs> uh huh. You're getting warmed up ahead of time. Okay. Sentry. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, that's uncomfortably close. Get wrecked. Spawn some sand for me. Fantastic. Um, let's use our scarab bomb here. Fantastic. We ran out of desert torches. What the heck is that? I'm trying to make the cacti land on him. Storm Lion. Do you have a YouTube? Yes, I do. Uh, you can see the link down below. Did that just drop something? Oh, it dropped two somethings. Summons a baby storm lion to fight for you. And storm lion mandible, that's just a material. So we can have sentry plus critter. Nice. Um, let's see. This seems fine. Is my bot not working? Oh no, I don't think I did a YT command. Let me just check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bot's working. I guess I should add that on the break. What? Wait, what? Why is this not summoning? Do I have to get rid of... Oh, it's over there somewhere. Okay, that... What? What the... Okay. Okay. I don't know... Is the blue stuff... From my critter, or I guess it is. Hello, friend. Yeah, it doesn't hurt us. Nice. Grab whatever this is. Actually, why don't I nope. use another scarab bomb? Are they having trouble? I don't think they can get through here. How's our inventory? Pretty good, actually. Uh, let's go this way. Do a little bend so that enemies don't fall on our heads too easily. Oh, 
Why can't I... Can I not teleport it through the wall? What? What? Okay. We have to unsummon it. First. I guess. Give me that money. Getting a lot of these, well, a few of these mandibles. That's one way to find enemies. It keeps teleporting back to me. Ow. What was that minus two? Armor break? I keep saying minus two. Oh, I tried to dash. I forgot I don't have a dash. I was planning to use the grapple to dodge out of the way. Here's a room. I think I'll go get the... Oh, Harpy Statue. That could be very useful. Uh, if we go find somewhere with some wire and take our salvaged touch plate. Uh-oh. 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 Okay. Oh, okay. Let's leave. Um, we could get some feathers without going up in the sky. Alright, let's put this away. It's a material. Banana split. Y Yarim's stimulants. I just need a Titan and Endurance potion. And any food item, actually. That's whatever. Increase defense by 10. Knockback, damage reduction, mining speed, damage, crit strike chance, minion knockback by 100%, movement speed, and melee. 30 minute duration. That sounds luxurious. And what is this thing? The camper? So we got one, two, three, four. Is there anything missing from there? There's no cake. Uh, there's four buff stations, 50 food items, five heart lanterns, 10 campfires, shiny stone. And it becomes the camper. In rest, may we find victory. <laughs> 10 defense. 90% less damage and less stationary. Standing still grants buffs dependent on what weapon you're holding. Standing still provides damaging aura around you. While moving, you regenerate health as if standing still. Provides a small amount of light. In the Abyss, specifically. Interesting. So those were both just any food item. Uh, let's switch to Summoner. If I can remember where I put it. And now we can have two of these. And I imagine I can probably just stand here indefinitely now. Got a few water leaf for when it rains next time. Hmm. 
Um, how much defense do we have? Almost nothing. Well, it's not that bad. Maybe I should try... Harassing the crimp. The crimson is going to be a lot easier to run past than the corruption would be. Okay, that's pretty effective. Nice. Uh, let's quick stack. Where's my stone? I I'm carrying it. We needed sandstone bricks, right? Sandstone brick turns into sun spirit staff. We only need 20 and two desert feathers. And desert feathers. And what was the crafting station for that? An anvil. Sun spirit star. 14 summon damage. As opposed to 9. And it's a material. What does it turn into? Sun god staff. We need to kill the mechanical bosses. And we need Essence of Sunlight. Which is like a Soul of Light kind of thing, I guess. And it's still a material. Alright, let's, uh... Let's give this a try. Oh, it stacks. Oh, that's right. The mod. The stacking mod. Um... Okay. I guess I can only have one. There can only be one spirit. Okay. So I could either have two of these out, or this sun thing. It's... it's a laser. That seems effective. Absolute M. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Not too bad, thank you. So I want to see something, actually. It does need line of sight, but that's fine, of course. Yeah, that's that's pretty hard to argue with, especially if you're not playing Summoner. If that's your one summon, that's brilliant. Okay. Um, let's quick stack this stuff away. I need to find where those traps were, actually. I have touch plates somewhere. Here it is. Let's go take our touch plates and harpy statues. Um, I guess I'll leave that open while I'm not here. I want to find uh, one of the little bits of wire that we can't move yet. And we'll put down harpy statue plus touch plate. And we'll farm some feathers early in the game. I can't remember how many I needed. 12 damage. 13 damage. At this point, that's really good. It's not working when it's up in the stone like that. Oh! That was scary. Why are we doing desert torches? Uh, Zep. Ow. What was that? Scutless jewel. 
Stealth Strike projectiles spawn a jewel spike when destroyed. How does stealth work? Does it give off light as well? Uh, maybe a tiny bit? Yeah, it gives off a really, really small amount of light. So that's nice. Better than being in pitch blackness. Where did our summon pet go? There's one. So I think what I want to do here is... Harpy statue. Grey pressure plate. And it is good and stuck. Um, can I then do this? Apparently I don't have line of sight with the summon thingy. Oh wow, 300 hit points. Do they always drop feathers? I don't think so. Good grief. I think uh, when you summon things with a statue it has a lower chance of dropping items as well. But there was something where we needed just a handful of feathers uh, to get something really nice. I can't remember what it was, though. Whatever. I'll just leave that there for now. What's down here? Bit of silver. I didn't end up making the silver pickaxe. Oh, that's right. I was bringing spelunking gear. We were going to do a proper mining trip. I could probably stand to cover as much ground as possible by using the rail. Alright. Spelunk, mine. That's a decent amount of stuff already. Dig down here. Surprising mining speed. I don't think... I think that's all iron, actually. That's silver. Let's go get it. I was thinking that was a very irregular hole to be digging this early. Didn't realize it was minecart path. Uh, indeed. Where's my summon? Oh, uh... Sun Spirit Staff can just sit in inventory if that... Since we never actually benefit from casting it more than once. Silver Ore... Uh, I believe that's more silver ore to the left as well. I think that's tin above us. There was no silver here. That's tin. Cobwebs. Um, I think by the time I get enough cobwebs for that one armor set, it 
we're gonna be saying no, it's not as good as this one already. The one I'm wearing, actually. Uh, one of those is silver, I believe, down the bottom right. Let's go in that general direction. You know what I could do with the uh, Harpy statue? Is summon a bunch of them and hit them with grenades. This is iron. I think that might be silver to the right. Stormline seems to always be lost. Could you also summon a bunch and use lava as well? Uh, yeah, there is actually some lava I have access to already. It's over here. So if we make a thin bit of lava, we could cheese that. Silver way down there. Oh god. Oh, lucky water. I don't know if that would have killed us or not. Probably just would have hurt. And there was nothing here to finish us off. But that that's also lucky. Is this silver? It's platinum. Even better. Asterisk. We need platinum for spelunking potions. If we're very lucky, we'll find a lot of it and make armor out of it while it's still relevant. But usually it's a bit much of a grind to get platinum armor. Speaking of needing spelunking potions. If we keep using platinum to get platinum, it's not as bad. Ow. Why does it do that? Oh, let's use the squirrel. I forgot I had it. So we've got the squirrel, and the sunbeam, and a pet, uh, and a su regular summon, rather. Let's do a little espen so we don't drown. Ow. Let's not die to sand. Sand is OP. I was gonna say we do need sand, and then I remembered, um... You can just buy glass bottles in this game, in, in Calamity. That is so refreshing. Is that what I think it is? Or is it just random Crimtain? It might be... It might be a biome. I'm just looking for that silver that I saw before the Spelunking Potion wore off. Or a Platinum, I think it was. Now. I feel more inclined to just hurry up and use a healing potion, knowing that I've got this gigantic stack of them. Quality of life go burr. Very surprised that hurt me.
Where the heck? Oh, there it is. That's definitely smaller than the patch I was looking for. Or maybe I overestimated how much there is here. We're almost dead. Let's put the silver armor on for the life regen. How much difference does it make? A pretty noticeable difference, actually. Considering our max health is 100, that's kind of huge. What is this thing? Who knows? I'm going to have to use this blunking potion. But first I want to have a peek down here. It's not a biome, it's just a bit of crimtain. And a bunch of iron. That wasn't what I was working towards, was it? No, I would have noticed the red earlier. need to use up this mining potion. I've got more mining potions than Spelunkers, right? Yeah. That is a hoplite. There's a marble biome nearby. Unless, unless it's because Calamity. Uh, apparently the sun... Wait, what? Oh, is that our sentry? No? Do I have to refresh it every once in a while? So I can't just summon this, put it in a chest, and forget about it if I'm playing another class. Why can't I... Oh, right. My plus minion count. That's why. That's why we lost the sun thing. Okay, that makes sense. I guess the fact that it's above us means it's a little bit more difficult to just sit on the ceiling and use the free sniping. That's a Gladius. 15 melee damage. It's not that much better. Are you not entertained? Uh, it's a material though, so let's find out what it's good for. about time to take a little break. Um, is the game paused if I do this? Yes it is. Let's fire up some words on stream. So are you not building arenas for your boss battles? Correct. I may build some like farming areas for monsters, uh, for just like common enemies, but no boss, no boss fight arenas, no million platforms in the sky with heart lanterns and honey and sunflowers and all that stuff. Uh, let me just mute that. There we go. And. Got to put Terraria down here. There we go. Words on the stream. 
With no arenas, would that include any sort of terraforming the land with flattening it as well? Yeah. And when it comes to, like, find, uh, fighting, for example, the Wall of Flesh or Plantera, uh, until I've beaten them at least once, I'm going to avoid as much as possible, like, digging through the Demon Town or, like, clearing out big sections of the underground jungle. I'm just going to dig through where I need to to get around. All right, words on stream is going to start in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck and have fun.
Fantastic. Okay, let's continue with Calamity. Tumbling Satellite, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And where were we? We're getting not very deep at all, actually. Uh, let's go for another Spelunkin Mining. That was instantly worth it. Let's go up here first. Pretty sure that's iron. We need to go deeper, yes indeed. What was that noise? Oh, gems, right above my head. It's only topaz, but they're not the worst. Uh, our inventory is full though. Hmm. What should we ditch? Probably the desert torch. I need to do the torch god thing, but I need some... I was going to say I need some mobility first, but I can just build an area that is... has some platforms, lets me go around in a circle. Or we could do it with... Oh, hello. Get wrecked. Can I zap it if I jump through here as well? Actually, I'm, uh, I should have unsummoned it faster. I think maybe that's how I got a bit of damage on it initially. What's this? I think that's iron, that's tin. Alright, down here we've got some more jet. Oh, that's a hook! Well, there might be something we can make with the hook other than the usual. Um, let's eat the banana split. Is this more topaz? I don't think it is. We're gonna have another decision to make. Yeah, it's ruby. Um, drop the one blink root. It's probably fine if we take the seeds home. Area with platforms, like an arena? Does the Torch God count as a boss? It's, it's not... It's not really a boss. But also, you kind of have to make... Depending on where you draw the line, you kind of have to make something of an arena anyway to get started. You need a hundred torches on the screen. Or I could just put it off until I have movement gear, and it'll be very, very easy. Once we have that. And I just have to pick a decent place to do it. I don't think you can do it on the surface. Um, where should we dig? Let's get rid of the water. Also... yeah, let's do that as well. Free shine potion. Just poking. I see, I see. Um, seems okay. I should probably just sort out my inventory before I go further. Let's do that. Even though we're going to burn some potion time. Blink root seeds. Uh, sand things can go in here, I guess. What's a hook good for? Still just a grappling hook. And it's not, uh... It's not a material, surprisingly enough. 18.75... 10, 11, 11. It's slightly better. We just need three chain. Chain. Where is chain? There we go. 
Now we can make a very, very slightly better grappling hook. And for some reason I can't right click to swap it in. Uh, let's sell this. It's not a material, is it? No. And chain goes under the iron. Pizza. Major stats for eight minutes. Very nice. Let's stash that away for the moment. Uh, and along with the grey pressure plate. Storm. Stormline mandible. That's exotic looking. Well, we don't have most of these things, so I'll just put it in a box for now. Uh, Topaz, why is my magic mirror over here? Or is that a second? No, that was not a second magic mirror. Topaz is... Looks like it hasn't changed. Oh, we can make Magiluminescence. I need Demonite or Crimtain for that. Uh, we need to kill the Eye of Cthulhu. Okay, put that in here. And I think because the because the minion has been so derpy, um, I'm just gonna go for I don't know ranged damage instead. So is this separate from our minion? No, it it does count as one minion. Okay. I'm just going to put the minion away. And where is that other stuff? Where did I put it? Uh-oh. Oh, is this it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll just leave that in a chest and see if it sticks to me. What other mods do you have installed? There you go. Uh, luckily we've got this rail all the way through. Now. I think I will... Yeah, I don't have to worry about what armor I have equipped to not lose the minion now. Perma light with some regen is rather nice for now. Alright. What have we got left on our potions? Three minutes of mining. Uh, the Spelunker potion's already gone. Rip. You want some? Okay. I didn't even want to kill that slime. Oh, there was bombs over here that I had to leave on the ground. Uh, already the uh, speed improvement on the grappling hook is can be felt, surprisingly enough. It was down here. That's where I left those bombs. Let's explore this way first. Oh, I thought that was a touch plate. I thought we were dead. Silver! And I believe that is marble. Oh, that's platinum. Even better. If we can get enough of it. That is indeed marble. We'll take some home so we can make some nice stuff. Do I have any bombs? 
I do not have any bombs. Oh, I need to make some more NPC homes. Keep the bombs in my inventory. And then we'll get the demolitionist. Potion. Careful. Careful. Boulder trap. Our plates falling out of the sky now that we've got close enough to the marble biome. There's some silver. We might have enough for a set now. I think we're go probably going to be a little bit short for a set. Hmm, this seems dangerous. Oh, 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 oh! What a shot! I'm honestly just impressed by that. Wow. Um. Yeah, that was... That happened. Someone clipped that. F indeed. Repetitive beats. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We got fireflies. I don't have a double jump though, or anything. Come back! Come back to us! Nice plentiful bait. 360 no scope? <laughs> yeah, it's almost like... It's almost like he predicted the way I would dodge that. And used gravity. I didn't know, I didn't even know the uh, the spears were that affected by gravity. Is it me or is gravity stronger in calamity? I felt like I was falling faster earlier. Maybe it's my imagination. Um okay, so marble block. Oh. I'm glad I checked. We need amber, flintlock pistol, diamond to make... what is this, a pistol? It seems worse at first glance. Extra damage at point blank range. So does this. Does every ranged weapon do that? The gun damages enemies that touch it. It's got a bayonet. Well. Give me those stars. Missed. Oh, wait. Give me those fireflies. Um, what else can we do with marble blocks? Obliterator. Pickaxe and axe. We need gold or platinum and granite. 50% pickaxe, 30% axe. It's a bit better than our pickaxe, and it's a terrible axe, but who cares. It takes up one less inventory space. And we got a spear. So these three require the same stuff. We just need to get some granite. Maronite bayonet, that sounds great, actually. Um, well, keep an eye out for a granite biome. I also need to make some smooth marble. Uh, and we can see what that can make. The pack. 
A thousand range damage? What? Donut item. Snail speed. Very strong knockback. Large homing rockets that explode into more homing mini rockets. Does donut item mean it's pay to win? Uh, it looks like everything else is normal. Question, is it okay to give you tips and hints about modded Terrarian Calamity, or do you want full solo first time experience? Uh, pretty much full solo first time. Um, also, I note that we died, but we still have our spirit. That's, that's a nice little quality of life, I guess. Oh, let's see how much silver we've got. 167 ore. Okay, that feels like it's enough to finish our set. We need boots and helmet. 10, 24. We've got 48. Fantastic. What kind of set bonus do we get? Uh, hold on. Let's see them individually. 3 defense, 6 crit. 4 defense, 2 life regen. What does 2 life regen mean? 3 defense, 10% movement. Okay, so 3, 4, 3. 6 crit, 2 life, and some movement speed. Set bonus, 3 defense, 1 life regen. 2 seconds after getting hit... For 20 or more damage, you heal for 10. Getting, getting hit again resets the timer, delaying the heal. So if we get hit once... Um, if we get hit not too often, it basically mitigates 10 life. Uh, 10 damage. Twenty-five percent increased mining speed? Yes, please. What's this material for? Just the ultra bright? Okay. Probably get rid of that. Let's grab our shine potions. Oh, and what does the gladius turn into? That's looking kind of late game though. Alright. from leggings. Get in here, please. And how much defense do we have now? 31? We've got 31 plus 3 life regen. Uh, and that's before taking an iron skin or regen potion. I dare say we can take on the Eye of Cthulhu at this point. Um, but we haven't even gotten any life crystals yet. Uh, so we're looking for... I guess that arm is going to be useless. Like, we've already got silver. Let's put this stuff away. We don't have an extractinator yet. Uh, put bombs in inventory. Make a home for the demolitionist. Why is this up here? And how long is this? Nine tiles inclusive. We need three more. What is... Oh, right. Where's my hammer? I should probably stop carrying it. I can turn wood into a hammer when I really need it. One less inventory space taken up that way. I don't use a hammer very often. Um, 
So let's get rid of that. We need a workbench. We need a chair. We need about 40 wood walls. And we need a door. This housing is suitable. Checking every material is a good way not to miss anything, indeed. Uh, I also have, what is that mod called? Um, not boss log, but I should look at that to continue with progression mode fully enabled. I read this earlier when I just started the world. Um, yes. Finds a lot of boss content until you've beaten said boss. Cool. It does tell us that our next boss is King Slime. Next event, the Torch God. Torch God. Doesn't tell us how to do it, actually. Uh, that looks scary. Speaking of slimes, this one's bringing us something. Oh, it's just a heart. Check spawn info? Spawn info. In the boss log? Spawn info. Ah, I see. Use slime crown randomly in outer thirds of the map. Or kill 150 slimes during slime rain. Nice. Cycle alternate recipes. That's cool. Loot and collect. Oh, I love this. Oh, this is good. Um, giant clam can spawn naturally in the sunken sea. And torch god? Place 100 torches. There you go. Sorry, my bad. 101 torches. While underground. Alright, um, I feel like trying to get to either the ocean, or maybe we'll break an orb or two. You have to keybind your recipe browser. Uh, I see. Controls? Mod controls, recipe browser, there it is. Toggle recipe browser, I don't know what to use here. Um, E doesn't do anything, does it? Or how about something far away from where I'm usually pressing buttons. Query hovered item? Question mark? Uh, toggle favorite recipes window. Yes. Okay. So. No favorited recipes. Oh. I see. That is looking a bit involved. I'll have a look at that later. Oh, does this mean I can just look up... What was I wondering how to make before? Uh, feather... Or is this... Items. Feather. And then... What do I have to... Oh! Items... Feather... Right click, left click, nothing. Do I have to press this? No. Crafted loot. There we go. Nice. It's like having a guide all the time, and that's just the beginning of the functionality of this, I imagine. Take the sword out first? Take the sword out. 
on first tab. Uh, this. Take the sword out. I uh, am confusion. It's fine. I'll figure it out. That will show everything. Okay. Mo the Mad. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I should remember I have the squirrel still, even though it's very weak. Uh, a little tiny bump, a little tiny bit of damage will interrupt a lot of enemies. Shlurpus, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. The tile top left is the input for quick overview. Okay. Uh, I could probably be a little bit less careless, even though I know I've got more defense and health regen. Keep expecting to have more range. Alright, Crimson. Get out of my face. Actually, how much damage does this do now? Only one, and we've got health regen. What is that? Uh-oh. More importantly, that is in my way. It's got a lot of health, but we're able to suppress it pretty well. Um, whatever it is, the summon doesn't shoot it, and it has a lot of hit points, and I don't want to touch it. Let's use our mana for this. Don't kill that now. Um, why not? <laughs> Let's find out. It did cross my mind. But, like, what am I going to do? Grapple into it? Okay. 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 I can't... It turns out I can't use a go-home potion right now. Uh, so far so good. I'm gonna run out of ammo, aren't I? Well, we're one twelfth of the way done, but I have a feeling it's gonna have another phase, since this is Terraria. How many seeds do I have? 50. That's not going to cut it. What about the boomerang? The boomerang can't reach. It keeps jumping away from me. Magic it is. Uh, I've got arrows, but I put my... I put my bow away. Oh. Okay. Hey, apparently we get two shot. I was wondering how much how much damage that would do. Let's just concentrate on Oh my goodness. Okay. That uh that happened. was waiting for that. Yeah, at first it seemed like that was supposed to be beatable early on, if you're good. And then, haha, just kidding. That'll do it. Yes, indeed. 
Jim Dog. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, if I had grappled into that, it would have hurt me, surely, right? Maybe even just one-shot me. Uh, let's put this stuff in here. And take two. Let's try and walk past the uh, crimson. Let's go up here first. If I can ever grapple properly. There we go. It's almost like a heart. I don't think we're going to spot any floating islands or anything. It's raining. We should probably get our uh, water leaf. Lots of worms. Oh, I can't see the water leaf very well. I'm sure it's not far away. What is your favorite game? That's a tough question. I enjoy different games for different reasons. Uh, in terms of time played, it's definitely Factorio these days. Is that really the end of our sand? I guess I only got one water leaf for all that trouble. be the best idea to try and get through the crimson at night. So I guess we'll do some... We'll do some more spelunking. Stack this stuff away. Fantastic. Wait, how much more silver do I have? Enough for a pickaxe. What's that? Squirrel stuff. Wait, what's that? Web ball. Eight rogue damage. Throws a web covered ball that covers enemies in cobwebs to slow them down. Interesting. Uh, we can also make the. Wolfram Bow, I think? No, we're a little bit short. I could give this knife a try. Oh, it gives us a hundred. It's finite. Nah, I don't like that. At least not yet. Uh, so... Pickaxe? How much platinum can we make? Sixteen. That's, uh, what, less than a third what we need for a set? Five, six, five, defense. That is a significant upgrade. Ten plus sixteen. We need another twenty-four. Mm, I'll consider it. Gotta remember I'm looking for granite as well. Um, look at all these things we can make. We can make an enchanted sword? Okay, let's not get too distracted. Pickaxe time. No, I was going to make a silver pickaxe because it's going to get replaced relatively quickly. How many ores do we need per bar? Four, I think. Yeah, so we need like 96, 98 or something. I think it's 96 platinum ore. 
Okay. Silver pickaxe. 50% pickaxe power. Very good. Hey, we got the demolitionist as well. Give me those grenades. Oh, I guess these can stack ridiculously high. Um, whoops. We've got a casual 1200 rope as well. We can make sticky, bouncy flash round. We need glass. Gives off a concussive blast to confuse. Ow! 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 Rude! Okay. Uh, where were we? Let's get rid of the pickaxe. Oh yeah, I was seeing what grenades can be crafted into. So we got B, sticky, bouncy, flash round. Is that a bullet? Five range damage. Ammo. Concussive blast that confuses enemies in a large area. Shock grenade. Nanites. Martian conduit. Okay, that's not for a while. Explodes into a burst of lightning. Cool. Haven't seen Pinky yet. Um, adds a little bit of damage if we use Bouncy Grenade. Alright. So that is V. Oh, I forgot I got rid of this wood and I can't see it behind this thing. I wonder it wasn't shooting. Alright. Away we go. Actually, that would be pretty intuitive. Let's go G for grenades. Um, F V. Z is pretty awkward to pick up a weapon with. G and C. Q, F, V, G, C. Alright, cool. Um, will it be morning by the time we get over here at this rate? I should probably make a watch. Let's just do some spelunking and get more... Oh, there's that heal. That's nice. From the armor set. Um, let's just do a bit more spelunking. I, I do want to work towards a platinum set, if possible. I didn't actually end up back down here earlier, did I? That's right, we got killed by the hoplite with the best shot I've ever seen. Twenty gel and a crown to summon the king slime? Yeah, I know that. Or you can just wait for the slime rain. Down we go. Okay. Wrong way. Wait, is that... that's iron. I should have made a spelunking potion as well. Whoops. Let's get down here before something spawns in our way. 
I'll take the grave. That does have its uses. Is it going to spawn a much scarier ghost? Because it's calamity. There's our first life crystal. Finally. Oh, we got stuck up there. It is a material. But for now, I just want to get the life bonus. Yeah, I'm watching the hell out for those arrow uh, spears now. I've never used this before as well, but um, if you can get it early enough, these spears are actually pretty strong. 69 from one drop, 17 range damage. But we can throw them significantly faster, I believe. Yeah. And they... They do something like a poison attack, I think. Oh, nasty bat. Uh, let's see. Let's get interrupted by a worm. It's just a baby. Uh, it doesn't say here, but I think they stick to the enemy and keep doing damage. If I recall correctly. He's a Voxifol. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Where's our friend? There we go. Oh, and this is actually where we were headed before. That works. Doing good, you? Yeah, not too bad. Doesn't have that much range, the, uh, the free shot. Magic weapon proficiency leveled up. Nice. Do we actually get any more damage at this point? I don't think so. What did I just pick up? Ancient Bone Dust. Self though. Alright, down we go. Hey, it's Mr. Skelly Bones. I missed the money. What you buying? Not a lantern, apparently. Calcium potion. Immunity to fall damage. Uh, that's pretty funny. And yes, I will absolutely take a few of those. Um, 20 minute duration. I guess I didn't need that many. I'll save it for when I get the grav potion and... Um, how do I... There we go. I'll save it for when I get the Grav Potion and we're looking for Flying Islands. Hey, 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 what you selling? Up there, heard it's pretty wet, don't want my bones getting soggy and mushy. The only things constant in this world are death and taxes, I've got both. Nice. All right, let's uh, let's dig over to whatever this is. I'm not the only one that calls him Mr. Skellybones. <laughs> Isn't that his name? It's tin. Whatever, we'll sell it or craft everything that tin goes into, or both. Um, I just realized we're, we're digging this fast with just a silver pickaxe, 
and 25% increased mining speed from... It's as strong as a mining potion, the set bonus from this for mining. That is brilliant. Alright, let's try it with a mining potion. Oh my goodness. That is beautiful for early game. Let's use a shine and one of those. And then we'll find something else to dig. Uh, let's not die to a black slime. I think that's all topaz. Pickaxe go burr. Where are we going? Cobweb? Give me a thing. I thought that was lava for a second. PP man, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That is platinum. Uh, I think I calculated we need a bit less than a hundred. Let's call it a hundred. Uh, platinum ore, that is, to get our platinum set. Although, I'm enjoying the buffs from the silver set so much. I'm almost worried that I'm going to be sad by what we get for platinum armor instead. Something over there. Just tin. What's up there? This is so good against bats. Okay. Uh, that's another emerald crawler. as a skeleton, 180. this over here, tin, there's a whole bunch of stuff below us, dig dig dig, maybe I should just leave silt in my inventory, nah, stone, uh, dirt, and a couple of other things. I could just leave in my inventory because I'm always going to pick those up again and the stack size is gigantic thanks to that mod, but I think silt, we're not always going to find silt. Or topaz. That was a good find. Thank you, Mr. Skellington. For the Spelunker glow sticks. They're in material now. Maybe I should have bought more. Cobwebs! What's up here? Oh, that's tin, I remember. Um, Aziz Light, it would be good if I left a trail. Oh, 
Oh, oh, nope, nope, nope. No. Why doesn't it turn around? Okay. Indeed. Let's go back up here. Even if we do have a constant source of light, more is better. Is there something up here I wanted? Well, whatever, let's dig this thing first. The reason you're not making boss arenas so you can keep the world pretty, that's part of it, especially when it comes to uh, Plantera. That's right, I wanted to check out what's down here. Plantera's gonna be a pain. Yeah, Plantera's one of the hardest ones if you give, you, give yourself this challenge. Uh, what are we dropping? Boosts various rogue stats depending on held weapon. Interesting. Uh, I don't need another hook. It literally just makes grappling hook, which is not a material in and of itself. What else? Glow sticks? Probably glow sticks. Oh, there we go. Two more heart statues, and we'll get random Eye of Cthulhu spawns. But first, let's head back. What the heck just happened? Why did the game go all chunky for just a second there? Does Calamity cause some kind of, like, chunk generation stuff to happen while the game is being played. Come to think of it, I'm probably going to use the umbrella while I use the grab potion anyway, so this is probably a waste. Whatever, it's fine. It is a material? No, it's not. The umbrella is a material. Temporal umbrella. 99 mana. Uh huh. I just beat Plantera last night, so satisfying finally getting the kill. Indeed. Increased rogue velocity. Interesting. Uh, I've never gotten a gladiator set complete. What's this? We can make armor polish with one more of these and a a lot of bones. Uh, that's a while away. Calcium potion. We could make uh, eight of these right now. And I just spent like, what, a gold on this? It's fine. Crumbling potion. Essence of sunlight. Okay. Let's stash that in potion ingredients. And that does that gives way less arrow damage now. Um Obelisk can go here for the moment. I don't care. Emerald Invisibility Potion. Um, everything else we're going to end up without uh, in our inventory anyway. Calcium Potion can go in here. Uh, 
We've only got one gold. 1.67. I'd like to do some fishing, but... I would at least like to have the angler before we do. Is it morning or evening? Uh, or dusk, rather. I don't see the sun. Oh, how much platinum do we have? I'm very tempted to make a watch, but... I feel like I'm gonna get close to platinum armor and then just lose my patience. 23 out of... 26 plus 14. That's pretty far off, actually. Um, you know what? I want to know the time. And I presume this is still a material. Yes. 10 plat. That's not that bad. 10 plat, 1 chain. And we need an oversized table. Unless Calamity changes that. Calamity does not change that. So we need giant wooden table. And a chair. Um, the sawmill is something I can make, right? It's not... No. I wonder if this works with the chair facing backward. It does. I should get a sawmill if I can. Iron bar and wood. There it is. Sawmill. And one chain. I can't put it on the table, surely. Uh, what was I going to make? I remember. Sorry, squirrel. A... Great. Where is it? Crafting... Whoops. I need the guide to critter companionship. Stat... Uh, there it is. Trapdoor. Workbench. Workbench? Well then. I guess at least now we have a sawmill. Wait, I can... Hold on. Hold on just a minute. Apparently it doesn't have line of sight here, but it can shoot it when it's over over here. Interesting. Anyway. Uh, so now we can tell the time very accurately. And it is early nighttime, obviously, from the moon. So let's keep spelunking in that case. I could go back into the desert. If we get the... Uh, if we get the conch, um, we can just teleport straight to the ocean. Okay, apparently I keep hitting the, the button that I bound for. Uh, what is it called? Recipe helper or something? Should probably put that somewhere else. That's a gnome. It's like 10 p.m., so we're not going to be getting him upstairs. It's a graphics bug? What's a graphics bug? Just beat Planterran last night. Yes, indeed. Saw that earlier, sorry. What's this? Nothing. Fantastic. Can I get you to hit those? There we go. One nice thing about the 
underground desert is if you just have two tile wide gaps to go through something vertically, most of the enemies can't do anything about you. Alright, let's see if we can get a conch. Is this a new run? Yes, indeed. Uh, grenades would be good, wouldn't they? Or not. Almost. There we go. Get grenaded. Melee proficiency level up. How do I see... Am I able to see where my melee proficiency etc is? Where's this one? Oh, I can... I can find it with... A summon weapon. Is that it? No. There you are. Come at me. Perfect. Uh, did I explore... I don't think I necessarily got everything out of that um, house earlier, did I? Yeah, I remember I was forced to leave, so... Ow. Grenades solve all problems, indeed. And when that don't work, use more grenade. Yeah, 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 I didn't pick this up and put it down so it's lit. That means I haven't been here. Snake Charmer's Flute. Not that exciting. Actually, that might help us find some floating islands with relatively little effort. Um, are there any traps? Doesn't look like it. Is that everything here? Looks like... Nope. Nope. But I think it is. There's a chest. As soon as I get the platinum armor, I'm going to be making a lot more spelunking potions. What do we got? Plus 4% stealth gen. Okay, that's just a prefix. Ancient problems require ancient solutions. Mining speed. Well, I may as well, because I've got an empty inventory, uh, accessory slot. Oh, oh, no, 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 Oh, I think it was armor break, that negative two, but it was really brief. I saw an icon up here. Finally got you. Should mine fossil while you're here? Do you mean these? Desert fossil? Or like the uh, the blue drop called sturdy fossil or something?
This mining speed with no potion. Healing cooldown. Oh, it shows... Yeah, it shows this in a nice, easy-to-read icon. That's good. I need something with more knockback. Even if I don't have more defense, more knockback would make me a lot safer in this place. Oh, and I keep forgetting I have um, the Spelunker glow sticks. However, it does count Desert Fossil as... It does show Desert Fossil, which is not that exciting. At least, I'm pretty sure. Unless Calamity really changes that. Inventory's full again already. What's this? Silver ore. Uh, we got the extractinator. That's good. What are we dropping? What are we dropping? Sturdy fossil. We got those. Fantastic. Probably sand. Oh good, it's morning. Let's try getting through the crimson. And for now I'll be lazy and just throw the extractinator down. Uh, but before we go, let's drop our silt into the extractinator. We already got almost two platinum bars out of it. That's like a fifth of what the stopwatch cost. Not the stopwatch, the, uh, the gold watch or platinum watch. Got a couple of diamonds as well. We could start a diamond mine, uh, a diamond farm. Gonna have to try that myself? What's that? When you find the extra Desert fossil goes into the extractinator? Really? <gasps> Does Is it used for anything else? I think it is, but probably nothing that great. Okay, literally nothing. It's just wall. Okay then, so we've got this... Huge, reliable mine. And we got, we've picked up 22 gold here. Like, no questions asked. We haven't sold anything. It's just 22 gold. Apparently. It's going up a lot slower. I feel like something weird happened. Uh, quick stack. Nice. Okay. I'll definitely be picking up desert fossils in future. Let's put lead in with the potion ingredients, since that's the more rare one. We'll use that for iron ore, uh, for uh, iron skin potions, gold ore for spelunking potions. Tungsten's kind of like whatever. Diamond is exciting, but I need to... I think it. we need to go to depth 1000. Um, to make those diamond trees, right? I haven't made a single tin bar. Let's do this. Is there anything that we actually want to make with tin? Uh, we can make an aglet out of it. That's nice. Decryption computer. Okay. Isn't Topaz stuff what we already have? Yeah, we could make a better one, probably. Oh, you can make a flare gun? And it's a material. Uh, okay, I want to see where that goes. Flare gun. What do I need to craft it? 
You can make the bloody tear. Nice. Uh, anvil. Plus torches. So why not? Oh, here it is. Flag gun. Spark spreader. Ruby plus gel. We can do that. Firestorm cannon. Shotgun plus flare gun. Plus some other stuff. 10 range damage. Nothing. 70% chance to not consume flares. It uses flares as ammo. So it's probably like a flare boomstick, it sounds like. And it's also a material. Right click to fire a spread of flares. Or is it a shotgun plus flares? It's like a secondary fire. Okay, um, let's make a spark spreader. Ruby plus gel. Uh, I thought I had rubies. I apparently have no rubies. Those are rubies, actually. Um, so what do we need crafting station-wise? That's hallowed. Just have a peek at what else we can make with this. Uh, anvil. So we need gel, ruby, and flare gun. Nice. Seven range damage. It's not that much, but... Wait, what is it using for ammo? Oh, it's using gel. This is our first flamethrower. Um, cool. How about this? Recipe browser may be better. Yeah, I want to play with it off stream. Instead of staring at it in confusion with people watching. Uh, sturdy fossil becomes this thing. Fossil armor is still terrible for the effort that's required to get it. Amber stuff. Um, I've actually got just enough. Oh, I don't have an, uh, that much amber, I don't think. Where did I put amber? Amber... I'm surprised it's not in this chest. Do I not have any amber? Oh, here it is, seven. Am I one amber short to make an amber staff? It would only be one more magic damage, so who cares? Okay, let's just put that here for now. Rubies go here. Uh, I could take the snake charmer's flute and the umbrella and see if we can see if we can find some sky islands this way. It's not that much height. It might get us over an obstacle or two when we're trying to get past the crimson. Go into the desert when I can farm fossil and start farming bosses. Yeah. After this little outing, I think I will go to the desert. We'll use our Spelunker glow sticks and just devour all of the desert fossil. Um, and then we'll probably get a diamond grappling hook. If we're very lucky, although I don't think this is realistic, um, we'll get a platinum armor set, but I think we'll have to mine specifically for that. I'd really like a double jump or something. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did that deal one damage to me? It did two. And then and then it did fifteen. 
Was it because of the rover drive? I think it was. Why don't we do this? Away we go. I'll definitely grab those. Thank you. Oh. Wait, so it didn't hurt at all. I could have just ignored it last time. Good to know. I'm really appreciating the regen from the silver armor set. Just effectively making this do zero damage. Wand of Sparking. Sure. Don't even need to attack those now. Oh, I almost forgot my umbrella. Whoops. And here we are in the jungle. Gonna be, need to be a bit more careful now. Finally, we have the step stool. I don't think there's anything else I want to swap out for that. I'm surprised how full my inventory is at this point. Ow. Um, what can I drop? I got a bunch of crimson torches I should have used. Uh, probably mushrooms? I shouldn't be carrying the scarab bombs still. I should have brought, uh... What is it called? Let's put this here. I could drop the wooden boomerang. I think I have a spare already. I also have a spare wand of sparking. Uh, shurikens. I can buy those whenever. one of those in corruption if you're playing not crimson oh there's our sky island um can i actually can i place a block here i can oh wow okay snake charmer's flute is actually way better than i thought Um, I think it's just a fishing spot, actually. Yeah. Even so, we can use it as a launching off point. Uh, why don't we do this? Close enough. Not quite. Oh, and I guess we could get our feathers now, if we really want to. Would you stop dodging all of my shots? I guess I'm a, being a bit of a hypocrite, but still. There's our first feather. Oh, and of course I can't fit it. Mushrooms used to be something that... We're just finite in the world. Thankfully, that's not the case anymore. Okay. This should get us through about half the jungle. I 
And it's the jungle at night. Um, I may have to flee. Uh-oh. You know what? I was going to say I don't even need your drops, but I'll take them anyway. Make that bow by now, I think. Actually, I should check in here. Never mind. Oh, moon glow. Uh, inventory, though. Give me the moon glow seeds. That's what I'm really after. Uh oh. Thank you, sun thingy. Oh, 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 oh! That's his light indeed. Didn't mean to waste one of those glow sticks. This is one way to kill a bat. And away we go. That's the end of the jungle. I forgot that we found the dungeon already and I was expecting to find it. But it's always on the opposite side from the jungle anyway. Oh yeah, I want to try this, uh... Spark Spreader. Here's the ocean. Fantastic. Now we just need to wait around for the angler. I don't think he's going to show up at night. Also, I should maybe do some inventory management so we can take some coral back. Oh. That's actually pretty good. I mean, it's weak, but it would kill a bunch of them in a line all at the same time. And it's a source of light. It's just incredibly easy to use as well. Uh, that's the wrong light. As is light. Can I get... There we go. I forgot I can't carry a mushroom. Alright, I think I'm just going to wait here until morning, honestly. So that we can get the angler. The angler spawns whenever the hell he wants. I'll check in on him after I put lights. Uh, check on him. Check the ocean, that is. Okay, so that's the jungle. Oops. It's pretty weak, but so is everything else at this point. Just incredibly easy weapon to use. And perfect. Perfect for multiple enemies. Chest. I'm assuming, yeah, we can't use it underwater. Of course. Alright, I guess let's go look for the angler. Just like your YouTube channel. I could just use it to proc flames as well. I can very quickly switch weapons. I don't suppose Calamity does anything about this. No, it doesn't. Um, one thing I don't like about Terraria is if you hold down the button... Well, not just if you hold it down. 
when you try to switch weapons quickly, if you're still in the swing animation or something uh, for the last weapon, and then you press attack again, it'll it'll swing the same weapon again, even if you've already hold it to switch. But when it comes to weapons that have a very high rate of fire, it makes it a lot easier to switch quickly. Although this one seems to have like... Yeah, it does three shots each time, actually. Alright, where be the angler? And that's a zombie banner. Let's put it down somewhere. Ow. Fantastic. The spark cable gun you have? Spark cable gun. Do you mean this thing? We do have finite gel, but that's a hundred gel still. I don't think I have to go further out into the ocean to get him to spawn, do I? What's that? Sea urchin. Uh oh. Well, it's very vulnerable to knockback. And we got another drop. Okay, I'm putting a chest down here. We're just gonna stash some stuff away. Um, frog statue. Scarab bomb. Boomerang lightning whelk. Rover driver. Step stool, urchin stinger, 18 rogue damage, material. Okay. So is rogue like uh, the throwing class? Apparently they're making an attempt to make it good. I want to keep these. This can stay here. I'll keep the chests. I'll come back for these one day. Value. Let's go get that uh, chest from before. Is it down here? There we go. Rogue is like a high damage stealth class, kind of. Yeah, and the weapons appear to be thrown, like always. Is that right? Loot. Absolutely loving the mining speed buff. I don't normally get to hold on to Ancient Chisel indefinitely, either. By the time I find it, I've got full accessory slots. I thought that was a Mimic for a second there. Just from the sound. Consumable thrown weapons and infinite. Nice. I'm glad I've got this breathing reed as my melee weapon as well. That is another convenience that I've never experienced before. Let's take some coral with us. Don't ever do this in real life. Don't 
Don't even touch it. Not even a little bit. It's very bad for it. Oh wow, this this is different. That is I've never seen oh 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 drowning. Um what the heck is that? Uh oh. Okay. Uh. Uh, silly me. I should have expected something that would deal 123 damage in one shot that looks like a common enemy. Um. Apparently. F in T. What do you mean one job? How was I supposed to know it was that strong? Get boxed? Yeah. I won't say we can easily get back there. Um, where's that clay? We've only got 24. We can make a whopping four pots. What are we going to prioritize? How about one moon glow? Uh, blink root. Blink root is always a pain to get started. We've got enough water leaf seeds. Deathweed or fire blossom? Probably fire blossom. And one more. Uh... Deathweed. I could go out of my way to mine clay, but really it's just a lot easier if we simply kill the Eye of Cthulhu or something and get... Uh, planters from the Dryad. Wolfram Controller. 10 summon damage. How many of these do we have? 24. I wanted to try the bow and maybe the fishing pole. What do we got? 10 plus 9. That leaves us with five. This costs nine. Oh, and I also wanted to see what the rogue was like. So that's five. That actually works out perfectly. What did we get? Just a vanilla bow. And fishing pole. Okay. Um, 12 range damage. What's the rate of fire like? Significantly better. It's, it sounds like about the same DPS. Extra damage at point blank. Seems to be the rule for all ranged attacks. Um, yeah, I might just swap this out just because... I don't have to worry about farming the ammo and running out of it. We can just buy more. Oh, does this stack the... Oh, it does. Wow. That is some quality of life right there. Well, we're not going to run out of ammo anytime soon. Did I find snow? I did. So we could make uh, frostburn arrows. Um, I think it's about time to take a little break though. Let's do some words on stream. Continuing on level 7. We'll start in about 30 seconds and I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck.
Fantastic. All right, we'll do level five a bit later. Let's continue with Calamity. Now, where were we? Um, it occurred to me on the break, actually, uh, saving up for Platinum Armor is what I would be doing if I had to face the uh, Eater of Worlds. But since it's Brain of Cthulhu, um, we're going to be able to evade a lot more of the damage. However, I don't have any movement here, like, at all. So that's a problem. We could probably handle Eye of Cthulhu pretty easily, though. Unless Calamity has something to say about that. Um, so... Oh, that's right. I wanted to see what the Rogue set was like here. Um, let's see. We get... Hold on. One defense, ten road get damage. Percent. Three percent crit, two defense. Um, one defense, five movement speed. Set bonus, three defense, plus five when low. Health. Rogue stealth builds while not attacking and slower while moving. Is that that bar? Up to a maximum of 50. Once you have built max stealth, you'll be able to perform a stealth strike. Rogue stealth only reduces when you attack. It does not reduce while moving. The higher your rogue stealth, the higher your rogue damage, crit, and movement speed. Okay. So, run off and preferably don't move for a bit and your next attack does more damage. So your initial hit in each fight is a lot stronger. That sounds good for spelunking generally, um, but this set is way behind silver armor, so I'm just gonna put that away for now. Schlerpus, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I'll put the mining potion away since I've got, um... You know what I should be doing? I should be carrying a piggy bank. I'm a little bit surprised we haven't had a blood moon yet. Um, but yeah. Now I can access all of these occasional potions. And fishing bait. Reduces creature's ability to detect you in the abyss. Hmm. I don't know what the abyss is yet. Uh, I doubt I'll use the seeds again, but I'll put them away just in case. Moon glow goes in here. Um, we're not going to be using the zealous the blowpipe. I think I'll just sell the glow sticks and always buy them back. Only at night, though. What a boomerang. Uh, and I'll stack away the javelins. We're saving those for a boss fight. Oh, and the feather. What did we need feathers for? Wings, of course. Um, grab potion. Grab potion? That's a thought. Featherfall, we've got the umbrella. We don't need featherfall potions just yet. You can make a money trough? Blood orb, piggy bank, 15 gold. That's kind of expensive. 8 gold bar. Do I have blood orb? Uh, that's blighted gel. Did I find blood orb somewhere? Don't think so. Okay. Uh, what else? 
cloud in a bottle. <laughs> we, we literally mine cloud and put it in a bottle with a couple of feathers and we get cloud in a bottle. That is brilliant. Um, I think I would prefer... Well, I could go all three, honestly. Uh, ten feathers. How many do we have? Where did I put them? We've got eight. I just need to kill two more vultures. How many feathers do we need here? Um... Wait, come back. We need six plus four plus two. So 12 feathers and we can get all three of these. Uh, feather crown. It's vanity. No, it's 15% increased rogue projectile velocity. Okay. Harpy ring. Movement speed, flight time. Skyline wings. We don't have bones yet. Rain cloud, cloud, narrow light bar. Okay, there was something else though, wasn't there? I guess not. Okay, so we want grav potion. Um, once one of these, uh, once these all bloom, we're gonna have the ingredients for a grav potion. Uh, plus two. Plus 12. So 14, 15. We want like 15 feathers. Let's go pay a visit to the harpies. What time is it? It's getting late. Let's hurry. So we don't have to deal with any egregious spawns. Even if I don't... Oh, I am, I'm also bringing what I need to fish, so we could maybe fish up a cloud... Uh, a shiny red balloon. But even if we don't do that, um, three double jumps is going to be very helpful for our early boss fights. Not to mention spelunking. So where was that cloud? I need to get to... I need to get to the jungle. Okay. I've only got a minute and 20 seconds until it's night time and we're going to have much worse spawns. Grapple cancel is so much harder with early grappling hooks. Partly because it's just like muscle memory. You get used to the uh, the longer hooks. Longer and faster hooks. Seems like a lot more vicious mushrooms spawn. I could just be biased about that because last run I was doing corruption and the artificial biome was quite small. Crimson. Didn't pick this up earlier. Nice. Oh, what? Oh, that's where the cloud is. What is that? Is that moon glow? Oh, it is. Okay, never mind. Alright, let's get our sneaky thing. Let's actually put it somewhere useful. Not like that. There we go. 
and away we go. And I think there should be that bit of wood there still. Yes, good. Fantastic. Uh, how am I going to get up there? Here we go. Benwu, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. How was your stream today? Let me give you a quick shout out. Fantastic. Factorio, good taste. Alright, so now we're just waiting for some harpies. I guess we may as well do some fishing while we do that. Uh, where's my sentry? There it is. Uh, let's make some enchanted nightcrawlers. I actually just accidentally used all of my stars, but oh well. 17 is not that much. got a crate already. I think we need a sky crate. What is this? Wait, what am I looking at here? Oh, that's the squirrel. Okay. Uh, let's get some light so I can actually see properly when the fish thing is bobbing. The fishing line is looking unusually straight. Not sure if I should be concerned. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Um, apparently we're going to be fighting mostly zombies in the clouds at night. Well, their lack of movement down there is, uh, this is a pretty effective farm, I guess. Stream was good, survived another CME through dumb luck, as in you couldn't stop it and it just missed you. Sky blue flower. That's what was hiding the moon glow. I was gonna... Yeah, I thought it was this. But I didn't think this thing glowed. I think there was moon glow hidden behind this sky blue flower. In a sentence, yes. Okay. Uh, why don't we drop this zombie banner? What's that? Permanently increases maximum mana by 20. Nice. Uh, where's the banner I picked up? Here it is. Okay. Why can't I place it? Oh, because this isn't background. Derp. Now we're really gonna be farming zombies. And apparently zero harpies. Could you stop distracting me, please? Thank you. Ow. I apparently managed to have convinced myself that I built an umbrella when I had, in fact, not. Nice. Oh, I should move the squirrel. It's making it harder to see when I can fish, when I need to reel it in. 
There we go. I'm really surprised we're getting zero harpies up here, though. Zombies are just spawning too fast, I guess. I think it was partly remembering my point five run. That kind of makes sense. Three more minutes and it'll be technically daytime. We should stop seeing a million zombies spawn, so hopefully we can get our, what, 15 or so harpy feathers is all we're looking for. Let's call it 20, just to be safe, make it worth the trip. Damselfish. Doesn't that... That's for calming potions, right? a steady supply of food as well after this. I think I missed. There we go. Give me that star. Uh oh. Nope. Zombie banner for the win. So we haven't had a single Sky Crate or Harpy so far. All of the things that we go to the Sky specifically to get, none of it. I don't think we can get it from these crates. Oh, there's a star up there. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Give to me the star. We've got 30 seconds. That's a harpy. Maybe I wasn't far... Oh, ouch. I was going to say maybe I wasn't high up enough. Oh yeah, and ammo for this just costs money. I don't have to farm for it. That's good. Oh, it's auto fire. Even better. I, I thought the arrows had a special effect on him or something, but it was actually just the light source from the, um, uh, from the snake charmer's flute. Alright, should we climb up a little bit higher so we actually get harpies spawning? Might be a good idea. Apparently we're still low enough for this to count as, like, forest biome or something, it feels like. Wait, is that why... No, we have been getting damselfish. Summoner weapon proficiency. Oh, fantastic. Let's go up here. How rude. I actually thought that might happen, but not so quickly. And if we stay here, we should get harpies appearing more reliably. Yeah, way more reliably. Okay. That might be a little too reliably. When it rains, it pours. 
Good grief. Oh, that was silly. I should have gone this way. Grenade! Alright, well, we got some feathers. Uh, we're up to three. We need, like, 15 or so. I'm gonna stay here for a moment and see if harpies will spawn while I'm here. I don't think they will. I wish I had a depth meter. Maybe if I hang here, I can fish while I wait for harpies? Is nothing gonna bite? The fact that the, uh, the line is perfectly straight, I'm worried that I'm not gonna be able to see... Yeah, I don't think I can... Oh, there it is. I can just barely see the line move when there's a fish on the end. Well. Apparently this still isn't high enough for harpies. Okay. I could have sworn one spawned when I was just standing here earlier. When we came here before. And as soon as we get like two of them, I should drop back down. So that we don't get swamped. Apparently... They're just not coming right now? This is really weird. I've said before that I seem to get very spiky RNG in this game, but this is getting... to be a bit over the top. Zero harpies until there's four or five at once, and then zero. Don't tell me they only spawn at night. I don't... Nope, here they are. They don't always drop the feathers, unfortunately. I can hear the bloop bloop. That's how I can fish. That's the windy day music. No feathers this time. Feels bad. feathers. Not those feathers. Those aren't the feathers I'm looking for. Ow. Those two hits were close enough together for that 10 health thing to kick in. Getting hit again resets the timer, delaying the heal. Okay. So that was like, what, three or four seconds? 
squirrel MVP, yes indeed. Even when the squirrel doesn't do uh, any significant damage, uh, just hitting a lot of enemies for one damage will interrupt what they're doing. Although, I don't think it matters with harpies, or does it? Okay. Hello, slang. Okay, okay, that could have been a combo. Let's go over this way. Oh, that was silly. I guess we're going to lose... Oh, hang on. Perfect. Up we go. So you're saying the squirrel's support is pretty nuts. I would never say anything like that. That's another feather. We're almost halfway-ish to our target. Oops. I'm trying to squirrel. There we go. If we suppress harpies, do they fail to attack? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, when it rains, it pours. That's too many harpies. We only get... we got two feathers out of all of those. This guy got buffed. And he's stuck in the ground. Or is he? Ah! Okay, that's just rude. Gotta get a little sleep. Catch you later. Take care, Ben Wu. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for the raid. We've killed so many blue slimes up here, we got a blue slime banner. Let's move the zombie banner while we're at it. Whoops. Whoops. There we go. Fantastic. I wonder how many harpies we've killed. Probably like... 17? 20? Bunny kite? I think that's in vanilla, probably. We don't have enough wind. Let's put some stuff away. Hard shackle. Wait, what's this? Plus 0.25% damage reduction. Huh. Interesting. So hard through to warding gives a percentage damage reduction now? That's nice. Uh, fish can go here, this stuff can go here, this goes here. Whatever. Out the... a whiftness? Swiftness potion in the recipe browser. Put the swiftness potion in the recipe browser. You mean like this? Oh, that's cool. 
Uh, how do I... All recipes? No. Craft items. Oh, what? I don't... This, this interface is weird. I'll play with it later. Alright, let's taunt a few more harpies. Wait, I don't know how many feathers I have. Let's keep those in our inventory. And we're up to ten. thinking I can grab onto this before it's done its thing. I'm just now realizing how lucky it was to get... Uh-oh. Uh, to get a few crates when we started fishing here. Good shooting. It's not night time yet, technically. That's not why we suddenly have three harpies, it's just a... another spike. Oh, that was a good shot. Nice crit, too. So how many fish did we get? Almost 30. We're gonna have a whole stack of food now after this. Would you stop? Thank you. So we can make, uh, at the very least, the best cloud in a balloon, I think, now. Maybe I should make one and come back for the rest. Let's pick up everything and go back to spawn for now. One more harpy. Ow. Ouch. Uh, back to spawn. Have fun with your run, just remember one item to spawn boss is unlimited spawns. Nice. Uh, we've got link root blooming. Oops, I didn't actually mean to place both of those, but that's probably for the best. Alright, we got 13 feathers, let's review. We need 6 for stands, uh, sandstorm in a bottle, 4 for blizzard in a bottle, and two for Cloud in a Bottle. So I actually can already do all of these if I get the rest together. We need, I think, one more Desert Feather. Two more Desert Feathers, which are really easy to get. And a bunch... 70 Sand. Uh, we know where to get that. So we'll be getting Sandstorm in a Bottle. Uh, we need 50 snow blocks, 
Then we need 25 cloud for cloud in a bottle. Um, and that's 12 feathers. And we actually just need one more for a grab potion. So we got the bare minimum to get everything we want. That's excellent. All right, so let me just... I was going to say before I go, let me just count this, but we can use this instead. Feather goes here. Well, no, I can just type in a bottle. Um, items. No. Craft. No. All recipes. Why doesn't... What? It's very inconsistent. I have to click on the one that's already selected with the radio buttons? I don't understand. And why am I not seeing those items that I just... ...saw that the guide just showed us? I... I don't even. We're just going to use the guide today. I think you're on mod only? How do I... Oh, okay. That's more like it. So we need 50 snow, 70 sand. And we need to go back for a 25 cloud. 50 snow, 70 sand. Let's get the sand first. Ungeliga? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, careful. I guess I'll keep these here for the moment. Alright. Uh, we're going to do a little trick here. Put down a torch. Get rid of this. And that's 69 sand. Nice and easy. I wonder how high this... Well, I guess it goes about 70 tiles. Should try swiftness potion again. Uh, that's true. Um, just to save a trip or three, we'll do a little bit more of this while we're here. But we're gonna be careful not to have the sand instantly kill us. Casual 1,000 sand from all that. Oh, I already had some somewhere. Where was it? In this chest, I think. It wasn't that... Oh, it was enough, actually. To craft our sandstorm in a bottle. Oh, well. Uh, what else do we need? Sandstorm in a bottle. Anvil. Bottle. We need 10 desert feather. I may as well get that while I go get the 50 snow. It's not that far away. Can I join? Uh, no, we're doing solo. Uh, Firestorm, welcome, welcome. Hevel Cycle, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well.
And I need to find, I think, two vultures. I think they always drop. As is light indeed. I would love to put it on those palm trees, but I can't. Can I put it on a cactus? I didn't think so. You know what? Let's grab... Let's grab some cactus. Cacti. Put down our workbench. And cactus lamp. Get flamed. That flamethrower is going to be great when the Eye of Cthulhu wants to spit. Okay, okay. We gotta move. We gotta move. Okay. Alright. I see how it is. You know what? Have some grenades. Where did it go? Did it despawn? I think it despawned. Now I don't even get to... Ah, uh, now I don't get to loot it. Even, even though I had to avoid being killed by it. That's just rude. Anyway, let's put down some cactus lamps. I feel like those will look nice enough around here. How many can I make right now? That's pretty good. As is light. Can I put it down here? No. Yeah, that actually fits perfectly. In just the way things look here. Not a very fun thing to farm. He only drops one thing. Yeah, I killed him once already. He didn't drop anything. Um, but that, of course, doesn't mean there's nothing that he drops. Alright. As is light. There you go. By all means, give us more sand. Are you quite finished? Is that another one? It is too. A different kind of Wolfram thing. I'm absolutely loving the silver armor in Calamity. For a desert home, please build a pyramid? Uh, I could think about it. I made my desert house look a lot like my jungle house last run, except with different materials, and I quite liked it. But I guess we can we can try. I'll try and uh, push my building skills a little bit more this playthrough as well. I did notice some improvement. Uh, looking back between the stuff I built that playthrough and the one before. So it's gradually getting better. Alright, I need 50 snow. I prefer not to take it from up here. I think we'll go find the entrance. Ow. Ow. Is this 1.4? Um, no, I think. I don't know. Do you have to opt in to 1.4? Or if you're doing T mod loader, is it 1.4 by default?
All right. Uh, I guess let's use this spot. This is a great excuse to dig through looking for caverns anyway. Get plenty of ice and snow while we're at it. We'll be using the ice for frostburn arrows. Better in every way than flaming arrows. And there's our 50 snow, nice and easy. Casual 123 ice as well. Fantastic. What version of Team Rod Loader? What version? Steam's latest. Yeah, yeah, I just downloaded it today. Never played Terraria modded because Team Mod wasn't working on 1.4, but they recently updated it. And I was wondering if you're playing 1.4. Yeah, I just downloaded Team Mod Loader. I didn't like specify any version or anything. And I did that today. Oh, I should use the Spelunking potions to look for stuff. Not potions, uh, glow sticks. Does it show cobweb? No, it doesn't. Fantastic. Maybe I should spend a little more time in the snow biome, the uh, underground snow while we're here. Tends to be some pretty good stuff for early game. We could get a flinx for one thing. Time for first boss? Uh, pretty much, yeah. Well, I, I need to get the movement items, which is why I'm farming up sand and snow. I think I'll even go for three double jumps, maybe. Also, I need a couple more hearts. Uh, I, I need a couple more life crystals so that the Eye of the Dulu will show up. I haven't found a suspicious looking eye randomly. I am absolutely loving the mining speed, my goodness. Uh, it helps that we got the ancient chisel as well and didn't have anything better to do with that accessory slot. But to get 25% mining speed from the silver armor, very, very nice quality of life. Thank you very much. You know what? Why don't you just a little flame. What did we just get? Danger Sense Potion. I guess I'm not doing any Aziz Light right now, that's a little bit bad, but I just don't want to stop mining. I guess once one of these hits a thousand, I'll go back. Unless we find a house or something. I should do the Torch God once I get the, uh... Once I get the double jumps. And find a decently sized open space down below. I guess it's time to do a elevator to some extent. Mushroom biome? Oh yeah. I love the mushroom biome. I haven't found one yet. What's up here? Nothing good. What's this? I almost drowned. Uh, that's a bit awkward. Okay. 
What is this? Amethyst Crawler. I think this is what we've seen before. It's just a bit harder to see than usual. Um, what am I dropping? Waterleaf, maybe? Cactus. Alright, back we go. Didn't quite get a thousand snow, but that's okay. Now then, ice and snow can go here. And... Let's make some frostburn arrows as well. Do I need them to not be in my ammo slot? Wooden arrow, flaming arrow, jester's arrow. Did I misremember the recipe, or did Calamity change it? Arrows. Frostburn arrow, ice torch. Which is just torch plus ice. Oh, we ran out of torches. Whoops. We only get 10 per torch, so 1,290. That's not bad. And I need some torches again. And... Uh, feathers... Plus snow, plus glass bottles, I think. Star in a bottle. Oh, there it is. Blizzard in a bottle. Nice. And then we also require... Where is it? Ten desert feathers. I didn't find the, um, uh, I didn't find the vultures. I should go look for them now. Oh, oh, what else does this make now? It's still just blizzarded in a balloon directly. Okay, what are we swapping out? Stealth strike projectiles spawn a jewel. Yeah, that hasn't done anything for us, literally. Um, I'll put that away for now with the Wolfram armor, I guess. Cool, so we didn't even have to sacrifice anything to get Blizzard in a bottle. That feels very nice. Can we jump this? Yes, we can. Alright, so we're looking for... Um, uh, vultures. Where is the setting that turns off heat distortion? I remember turning that off because... Is it waves? I think it's waves. Because the frame rate drop was actually noticeable down in the underworld. Oh, there's a vulture. Ow, ow. The only trouble with this uh, summon sentry thing is it might aggro something that you don't want to. Oh, it's you again. Okay. Round two? This time I have Frostburn arrows. And you're moving towards the bottom of a hill. You're not even going to live that long. You know what? I'll let you live that long. Have some grenades. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. It was moving through the ground. What the hell? And all we got was 1.6 gold. Not that that's bad at this stage of the game, but still...
All right, there we go. Um, where's the rest of them? Here we go. Oh, wait, I needed one less than that, even. So let's see. Bottle. Desert feather. Sand. Am I missing anything? Feathers. Sandstorm in a bottle. Unfortunately, we didn't get any prefixes. So what am I swapping out now? Definitely not the hard shackle. Uh, probably not the aglet. Oh, the chisel. We can just swap those whenever we're underground. See what our movement's like. Oh, that thing is blooming. Fantastic. We only got one seed back though. Oh, that's better. Nice. How far can we jump? So about here. Most of one screen. We're well and truly ready for the Eye of Cthulhu. Someone said that hearts can be crafted. It doesn't look like they can. Oh, it was Life Crystal, it's called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do I... Left click, right click? No? Oh, here it is. Two rubies, a healing potion, and stone. But we need a healing potion. For that, we need the glowing mushroom biome. Uh, is that the pig that someone mentioned? Piggy. Donor item. Material. We can turn it into bacon. <laughs> oh, no. 24-minute major stat boost. That's nice. Um... 11.23 gold. I'll take it. Is, are you happier? No, you are less happy. Okay. Uh, this is going here. I need to sort my inventory. I forgot to empty the piggy earlier. Piggy bank, that is. Dyes and stuff can go in here, I suppose. Let's open our crates. Hunter potion, nice. Danger sense. Uh, I need to make a pot so we can cook the fish. There it is. Can we still open this door? Yeah, we can. Uh, we've even got damselfish for seafood dinner. How many damselfish do we have? Only three. I would be able to make one seafood dinner. I don't think I'll worry about it for now. Um, so fish are going to go in the sea chest for now. Pizza. Major improvements. Eight minutes. We'll use that for a boss fight. Um, cooked fish, minor improvements to all stats, eight minutes. The merchant must be very happy with how you decorated his room. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, I'm not using, I'm not using mana yet, so why don't I just sell these? We can buy them back anytime. Apprentice bait. I haven't even seen the angler, and I've got apprentice bait. Fire blossom goes in here. 
master bait. The best kind of bait. Tsunami in a bottle as well. So all of a sudden we have three uh, double jumps. I could go. To, I could go for four if I really want to, but uh, I don't think. I don't think I'm gonna want to sacrifice one of these items. So I guess we have some spare feathers now. One, two, three. Uh, is it always in that order? One, two, three. Yeah. So our biggest twirly jump comes first. Master bait, the best kind of bait. Yes. Why, why are you quoting that? Oh, we've got a lot of metal scrap. Uh, so we can casually make Wolfram controller. Oh, it's it's a flying thing. That might be better. Let's find a target. I don't know, I think the beam from just over my head is going to be by far the best uh, minion that we're going to have for a while. As especially if I'm not playing summoner. How far do I need to go to find a zombie? Never a zombie when you need one. Oh, I love the... I actually miss this from late game. When you have a double jump and you just run off a cliff and then you instantly have infinite acceleration up. Yeah, this seems worse individually. Is that another... It is too. Have some grenades. Uh-oh. Not in my face, please. Okay. As is light. Uh, did we get too far away? Is it going to have disappeared? Not quite. Oh, I forgot. I can just, like, jump over it now. I'm not going to run out of space. Alright, if it's still there, we'll fight it. Ow. I do have to farm a little bit for these arrows, so I should probably be a bit more sparing with them. Maybe I should use wooden arrows while I'm not fighting a boss. Yeah, he's gone. Alright, we got our Demon Eye banner. Let's go back. It's their night off. It's their night off. What? Um, that can go there, I guess. Decorating the uh, merchant's home even more. Fantastic. Oh, we've got 46 gold now. Um, I'll put away the Wolfram controller for now. Perhaps until we play Summoner. Don't need mana potions right now, but we can't make the good ones. So I'll put that there. What else are we getting with our Wolfram scrap metal? Uh, Blade? It's only one more damage than... What's the speed? Average speed. Yeah, I think the breathing rod is better at this point. Unless there's some hidden property to this. It costs 12. Let's investigate everything else first. Wolfram Staff. 13 magic damage. Average speed. Extremely slow speed. 18. Let's give this a go. 
Pickaxe, we've already got a better one. Uh, hammer. Well, what about the axe? 60% axe power? Sure. Alright. How does this work? Oh, that's much better. Wow. Yes, please. Oh, sorry, critters. Uh, please and thank you. That's much better. We can put Blink Root down there. It won't get killed or anything. I'm still not used to having all of this movement. Alright, let's sell the Topaz stuff. Unless it's a material, it is not. Plus 20% damage. I didn't know it could go that high. Maybe it's because of the... Because of Calamity. Um, Wolf from Scrap can go here. Shackle. I'll put this here for now. And... Let's go find some... Let's go find some life... Crystals. I think we'll go to the snow biome, actually. Yeah. Relatively easy to find life crystals there, I think. But also, there tends to be some really good early game stuff in the snow biome. That's nice. That's our go-to ranged attack for now. And I'll put the frostburn arrows on the bow. We also go faster horizontally with the sandstorm in a bottle. And I think with the tsunami in a bottle as well. We go. Fantastic. I think we lose speed after the jump because we don't have uh, we don't have running boots. I forgot to replace my summon thing. It's fine. Just kidding, it's definitely not fine. We'll just deal with it for one trip. Let's go check out... Oh, ow, 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 ow. Not much knockback on this, but that's okay. Let's check out down here. See if it goes anywhere. Ice torch. Fantastic. What's that? I didn't mean to run right into it to find out. Hopefully we find some ice skates relatively soon. Uh, let's take a shine potion. Night owl potion. Oh, there's our second last heart. Life Crystal before we get Eye of Cthulhu. And we get a Goblin Statue as well. 
Do we have, um... No, we don't. There's no trap here. May as well take the loom. What's in the chest? Ice skates? Well, that was ridiculously easy. Um, let's swap that out while we're here. Uh, so anyway, I found... What do I need to find right now? Rod of Discord, even though... Ow! Ow, 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 ow. Rod of Discord, even though it's pretty hard mode. Just give me that in a chest. It doesn't really re supply much light. Especially compared to what we were using. Um, let's put some of this stuff away. Especially the stuff that we're not going to pick up more of while we're down here. Why are there random... Oh, I see. Grenades don't belong to the rogue class, surely. Ranged damage. Take those rubies. Absolutely. I really miss my sun summon thingy. This this little guy, he's doing his best okay, but not very good by comparison. The only upshot is we can have more than one of him. What the... That is the weirdest lump of iron I have ever seen. It's not going to explode or something, is it? No? Well, that happened. Another pair of ice skates, and this time it's warding. Plus 1% damage reduction as well. That's pretty good. So if we have warding on everything... Uh, what's that? Minus 7% damage? And that's apart from the defense bonus? That's pretty good. Let's quick stack our stuff. Put this away. I, I was going to say we're not going to find another pair of ice skates. Oh, we got the good healing potion. We needed that for something. Uh, why don't I put snow and ice in here, actually? We're definitely going to pick up more of that. Sticky glow stick, get out of my inventory. Just don't need it taking up an extra inventory slot. Life crystals is what you needed it for. Oh yeah, so I could just craft one now, right? We'll see if we find another one naturally. Seeing that bat only makes me wish harder for that summon that I left behind. Oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. Now where did I put it? Is it... Don't tell me it's in here. No, I don't think it is. Sun spirit stuff. Fantastic.
Okay. You know what? I don't feel like waiting that long. Um, let's grab our healing potions. And we needed to spend what else? Just a couple of rubies. I'm okay with that. I found rubies while I was out there. Life crystal. I can make even more life crystal. That'll do for now, I guess. Oh, you can make a lucky horseshoe. It costs gold, though. You can make the bug net. Cobweb plus copper. I guess that makes sense. You know what? Let's spend almost all of our rubies on life crystals. Why not? And... Let's sort our inventory out. That can stay there. I'll just sell the pressure plates, I think. So, guide. What does ice skate do? Same thing as it always used to do. Okay. Where was I keeping the accessories? I guess it was over here. Uh, statues... We need to make a bigger base relatively soon. Let's just do that for now. I guess because of the warding buff, I'll hold onto the ice skates while I fight the bosses. We're only sacrificing movement speed, which is not nothing, but we're going to have a swiftness potion. And I think we got some movement speed from this. Yeah, we did. Okay. Statue. Um, can we make another... Shine potion. No. I could go for cracking an orb and getting a gun. Get the arms dealer in. Oh, the nurse should already want to move in. Let's go set up a little uh, NPC shack in that general direction. We're going to put the arms dealer and nurse in the desert. Is there a desert that we've found further away? Because I'll want to put it there later. Uh, not real. 
Not really. Huh. All of the desert is extremely close to spawn. I could make an artificial desert. If it comes to that. If I want more places to teleport to. Whatever. Let's just get... That looks a different size. 13... 12... Alright. Cactus. Cactus wall. Cactus door. Candelabra. And who wouldn't want to sit on a cactus chair? Perfect. Oh yeah, I forgot. Cactus armor is kind of... You again? The blood moon is rising. Well, that works. Uh, hopefully we can get a money trough. I will use Frostburn arrows for this, I'm not going to underestimate the Blood Moon. Okay, that's, that's not what I want to see right now. Is this a feature of the Blood Moon, or is it because I'm in the desert, or what? Or was it just random? Oh, I put these too close together. God damn it. Okay, platform. Grenades. Get cheesed. Just wants a hug? <laughs> Indeed. Well, this spot is pretty safe. Unintentional fortress. I've got how many grenades? 500. Sure. Let's go. Is the game modded? Yep, we're using Calamity and a few quality of life mods. You can scroll down or you can type exclamation mark mods in the chat to see them. Frost arrows, uh, frostburn arrows during the blood moon look kind of weird. We already got our bloody tears, so we can do the blood moon again whenever we want. Fantastic. I wish I had a spell that did AoE or pierce. Oh, it does pierce! <gasps> oh, I underestimated this spell. I mean, I already thought it was decent, but wow. Let's get on the ground so that our enemies can line up for us. Blood Orb. Oops. Oh, and I, I forgot I've got lots of jumps. I really need to get used to that. I guess a boss fight or two is going to drive that point home.
Bet if we had as much room here as we're supp Oh, it's you again. Okay. Um, I bet if we had as much room as we're supposed to here, this thing would be shooting down as well. There we go. I should probably not wait for it to do the thing where it charges through the ground somehow. up a lot. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I just got something fancy. Don't have time to read it now. Something or other spark. We're getting a lot of those mini bosses. I wonder if it's because Blood Moon or... or what? I'm sure it's partly because Blood Moon. of this. Uh-oh. So is it gonna now, like, warp through the ground? I don't trust it. This bow is really nice for early game. The value... I just ran out of... I just ran out of gel. Oh, shark tooth necklace. Very nice. I still haven't got a piglet, uh, a, a money trough though. Another one. How many is that now? Like seven? It feels like maybe five. Four or five. Oh, no. No, thank you. 
Can I get an angle here? Not quite. There we go. Could you be persuaded not to interrupt? There we go. You're not escaping. Did we get a money truck? What is that? Hard Amidas. Hard Amidias Spark. Taking damage releases blast of, a blast of sparks. Interesting. Let's let's run that experiment. Um, probably this thing, I guess. Oh. Interesting. Lol. Okay. Let's pick up all this stuff. Um, I need to make some room in my inventory. Shackles. Wedding dress. I'll probably keep this. Necklace. Let's not waste our arrows that we have to farm for. Well, uh, we didn't get Eye of Cthulhu yet. Bouncing eyeball. Oh my goodness, what is that? <laughs> what? It seems pretty good at this stage of the game. 15 damage. Does it pierce? I think it pierces, yeah. That's insane. What is... What is this? The nurse has arrived. Fantastic. Eleven tiles. Sure. It guts to have that symmetry. And I don't want to do that much more work on this pair of NPC shacks. hammer handy right now because we can just do this and trash that okay um cactus workbench chair Candelabra. That'll be the arms dealer. Now let's find out what blood orb is. Where? Oh, there it is. Oh, the zoologist just took the arms dealer's place. At least now I can get the, uh... What do you call it? The Guide to Critic Companionship? That goes into a lot of stuff. What the hell? Ten blood orbs plus bottled water makes any potion we like, it looks like? We need one blood orb plus all of this stuff to make money trough. I might end up doing that. I don't want to have to farm for it. 8 gold bar and 15 gold, though. 
And two feathers. I think I have the two feathers. Yeah, I do. So, is that actually every potion? Uh, it looks like it. Wow. That makes it easier to get certain potions. How much have we got? 36. That's only three potions, but I have access to potions now that I kind of shouldn't at this stage. Does that include... It does not include the, uh... Potion of Return, sadly. Did you start over? And hello, Frit uh, Fritley. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yes, this is... Uh, we finished our Master Vanilla arena -less kill all bosses run. And now we're doing the same thing, but with Calamity. That is a lot of stuff this can turn into. Early life force potion, I guess, isn't as powerful because our max health is lower. Um, Wrath and rage potion together before hard mode. Not bad. It is... we only got 36 of these out of the whole Blood Moon, so they're not cheap, per se. The recipe browser shows it better. I'm sure it does, but I'm not gonna spend like 10 minutes just messing around trying to figure out the recipe browser while I'm on stream. Uh, bouncing Eyeball is gonna become a staple, I think. It's probably going to replace the Spark Spreader for our piercing damage. What? No. Um, I'll put this away somewhere. Can I make room for... Do I really need three jumps? I, th I think maybe the uh, Tsunami in, in a blo uh, bottle doesn't quite justify the slot as well, because we get so much smaller a jump out of it. Yeah, let's put our shark tooth necklace here. Okay. Um, I guess I'll put this in the potions ingredients. Oh, I'll take the ladybugs, thank you. Um, does this turn into anything new? It actually does. Sand shark tooth necklace. Avenger emblem plus shark tooth necklace gives us... It's still only... Oh, it's double the armor penetration, and also 6% increased damage, and also it's uh, still a material. Interesting. Let's put that away for now. And I guess the tsunami in a bottle can go away for now. Bloody tear. Where am I gonna put you? Out here? Oh, I'll put it in the piggy bank. Don't need a wedding dress. Um, I'm not sure how many shackles I really need. Wait, wasn't shackle an ingredient in... Oh, I can make a band of regeneration, but I spent all of my life crystals. Hmm. Probably fine. We've got so much regen from the silver armor. 
I think defense is a bit more important. Okay, let's just trash that. I didn't mean to get rid of the hammer, but whatever. It's cheap. And I think I'll take a little break. We'll do some more words on stream. Tonight in Terraria, we will uh, either fight the Eye of Cthulhu, or if it doesn't want to show up, we'll do another Blood Moon. Alright, so 30 seconds, we're going to continue words on stream at level 5. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck and have fun.
Fantastic. All right, let's continue with Calamity. What time is it? We've got like five minutes until night time. Oh, is that a ladybug? I believe it is. Let's grab the guide to Critic Companionship. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> For some reason I thought I could teleport over here. Hello, Ness. Hello, uh, whatchamacallit, zoologist. Wait, what's her happiness at? Absolutely love having a place to yourself, blah blah blah. Does it really makes me want to run away? Well, yeah, I didn't build this for you. That's kind of expensive, but whatever. I'm not gonna go to the trouble of... ...of making a place for her... ...before I buy it. So now we can't accidentally, or deliberately for that matter, kill critters. Fantastic. Fire Blossom, go burn. Oh, I didn't mean to sort that. Whatever, it's fine. Um, so can we make a Grav Potion? We can. That lasts three minutes and we've got three minutes. Let's go. Potion. I've got the umbrella, I don't need a um, featherfall. And I guess let's go left. I just have to switch weapons to change fall speed. Oh! We already found a Wait, what? What is this? Am I upside down right now? No, I'm not. What the heck? I uh, uh oh. Um, okay. Okay. That's different. That's very different. I. That, that is not what I was expecting. I do want to find more floating islands if I can, so we'll, we'll actually investigate that a bit later. Good to know that we can make grav potions just by doing a blood moon. And what's this, a fishing spot? Or... yes, a fishing spot. Best content with the new player experiencing calamity in team. Yeah, normally, uh... Normally, with a Terraria playthrough on stream, I would do some, like, farming and stuff off stream. But I think this time... Uh, this time I'll be keeping every minute of it, of it on stream. Because you never know when you're going to see something new. Was that something? Yes, it was. Another roundy boy? There's going to be a lot more Sky Islands overall, I think. We're going to have more stuff to slam into when we fight the Moon Lord. Thirty seconds. What is that? Is that stone? I think it's stone. Yeah. There's our fishing island from before. I was gonna go left so that we didn't like run into this redundantly, but 
Uh, that that first thing that we found kind of made me turn around. Got to remember not to fall to my death here. All right, let's cover as much ground or as much air as we can with the remainder of our flight time. And we finally found our first vanilla sky island. We got Star Fury. That's not bad at all. Now, if we just don't get three of those in a row, like we did with our last playthrough, that would be fantastic. Uh-oh. 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 Okay. Get Star Furied. Also, I should go get my summon thing again. Um, so apparently this is Harpy Central. Oh yeah, I can put the squirrel up here. Um, I think we've found our feather farm. So, there's that. Okay, can we actually get out now? Sort of. I guess this is as good an opportunity as any to go back to the ocean. I was going to do the Blood Moon if we didn't get the eye, but uh, even before running into those harpies, we'd already we were already going to have lost a couple of minutes. If I'm going to use a summon item to get the Blood Moon, I want to be able to farm more as much as possible. This is a good time to get Fallen Stars as well. How many have I got? 21. I should do some plus mana. I've got an arcane something or other, so we can actually get our maximum up to 220. But we won't be getting there just yet. Oh yeah, and these chests. Let's get rid of them. I'm a little scared of the ocean. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Oh, 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 what is that? Frogfish? Is it gonna get on... Is it amphibious? It doesn't look like it. Is this the thing that one-shot me earlier? this time. Inventory is looking rather full. When will the angler show up, I wonder? Uh, why don't we fix our inventory while we wait for the answer to that question? Armored? Oh, yes, please. That's almost as good as it gets. So now we got plus 1%, plus 1.75%, plus 2% damage reduction. Uh, not to mention plus 4 defense from those items. 
Oh, plus eight, rather. Hello, Moray Eel. You're looking rather deadly. What's that? Sleeping Angler. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um... Okay. We got it. Hello, Sleeping Angler. Caught in Sky Lakes. I've got like three minutes to do that. I don't think I can pull that off. Yeah, I don't think I'm catching anything in a Sky Lake and coming back to the Angler in three minutes. Um, so let's make a home... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's make a home for him somewhere. I'll just put it here for now. Where's my wood? There we go. Arenalist Master Calamity, courage comes before the fall. It's fine. This is fine. Let's get some walls. Oh, right, you can't auto place against the dirt wall. And door. And some light. Uh, let me just put away these ice torches. Where are they? There we go. Angler... Oh, he's already there. So if I just get this to be off-screen, he'll teleport because it's night time. And 4.30am sharp, I'll ask him for another fishing quest. In the meantime, it is prime star picking up time. I should try and get a, a gnome as well. Gnome statue. Oh, and I meant to go get my summon thing, didn't I? At this rate, maybe I should just summon the Eye of Cthulhu manually. Um, let's see. Lens. It's just six lenses, but we need a Crimson Altar, which is... I don't remember where I saw one. I did see a Crimson Altar, right? Or was that just Crimtain? It might have just been Crimtain. Hmm. Oh, is that it? Yes, yes, yes. It's almost all the way on the left of the rail. Which class will you be aiming for? Um, class agnostic uh, at this point. I'm hoping it has some, I don't want to say better, but just more um, hybrid option. Well, better as well, I guess. Uh, either class agnostic and or hybrid um, stuff. I liked the frost armor and the desert, like the forbidden armor, whatever it was called. Um that let you do, and, and crystal assassin gear that lets you go either melee ranged or uh, ranged mage or what was the other one? summon plus mage? summon plus mage is nice that's the only summon hybrid one actually um, but yeah, it's, like, 
mostly only early hard mode that you get any any decent hybrid sets. Um, so I'm hoping Calamity fills some of those gaps. What was I going to do? Look at that. That's cool. Um, okay, so we want to... I think now would be as good a time as any to do a bit of a... Elevator. Especially with how quickly we can dig. Good grief. Won't spoil anything, thank you. Also, Bowshock, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Any other mods installed? Just a few quality of life ones. Uh, big stack size. The... What is it called? Um, this thing that shows you recipes. Although I haven't really figured it out yet. Um, what else was there? Boss checklist. Compact stack. Recipe browser. And the boss health bar. There we go. Alright, let's go... I forgot two things. I forgot my summon thingamajig. And I forgot to bring... Let's bring more than six lenses. Let... You know what? Let's bring them all. Um, if we're going to... If we're going to kill the Eye of Cthulhu once, let's kill the Eye of Cthulhu lots of times. While we've got our buffs up. And then we'll have a bunch of money. Plenty of spare. I guess it's not Demonite, it's um, Crimsonite, is it? I thought the mod list wouldn't work, interfere with Factorio. I changed it so that... Uh, base... What is that? Oh, it's just stone. Uh, just dirt. Uh, I changed it so that it's actually a command called Factorio mods and one called Terraria mods. And I just changed which one has an alias. So it's pretty easy to swap them back and forth. Where am I going? I need the demonite. I mean the demon altar. I don't think with the tools I've got there's a way to program it so it detects what game I'm playing. That would be nice. There's our crimson altar. It's windy again. Um, what the heck is that? Wait, does this just has no inputs? Oh, you don't have to keep it around. You can just make it whenever you want. The Blood Fountain, Tormented Mind of Malice, Scepter of Death. That's nice. Okay, we only actually get four suspicious looking eyes out of that. That's okay. No magic storage is interesting. First time I see someone do that. Um, I want to like improve the layout of my base. Only need one. Not consume. <laughs> Not consumable. Well, we lost a few lenses. It's fine. It's not that big of a deal. Whatever. What should we do for the rest of the Terraria day? Um, I would like to go up here, but I don't know if I want to spend what I have to for another grab potion. Oh, I know what I could do. We've got the umbrella, so this isn't that dangerous. Um, let's see. Right about here.
This is nice. The fact that it lets you put a block next to the end of the temporary rope. I wish I'd known this sooner. And... Okay. I guess that means, well, if we're very, very patient, we can look for um, floating islands wherever we want, but I think I would rather not do it that way. We can float down from these floating islands, though. That's going to cover a lot of ground. Um, I need at least one more. Ah! Okay. And go. Didn't you say you've got a potion that helps with fall damage? I did, but I've got the umbrella, so... Is that hive? <gasps> this is jungle. Okay. Wait, is that... Is that a camping... I'm not going to destroy this if I pickaxe it, am I? Or is it going to be... Is it going to go in my inventory, or is it just going to be destroyed forever? That's the kind of thing I could have spoiled. <gasps> Wait. Ah, oh, he had something. It's fine. Oh, there's, uh, there's an empty... There's, there's actually a hive in there. So, am I going to have to dig into this? I guess I am. That's a nice looking room. It gets gone for good. I'm glad I didn't hit it there. I hope I'm not... Digging my way to certain doom. Uh, are they are they trying to shoot me right now? Ah. Okay, so that was that was sneaky. Um, I can just squirrel this, right? Or are these not enemies that can be hit? What the heck is that? I, I can just avoid line of sight to them. What's what about this thing? It, is it not an enemy? That's a cool looking door. Is this friend? It is friend. Oh, we got chests. Dubious plating, mysterious circuitry, a lot of herb bags. Um, quite a few planter boxes. That's nice. Although the fact that they're all on different stacks is slightly annoying. Life force potion. Yes, please. I'll take the gold, obviously. Um, I might come back... What, how many stacks have I got? One, two, three, four, five. And what is this thing behind me? Drayden's lock. Click to view its contents. Oh! Oh, wow. Hung low in orbit, masses of ground in various parts of the world provide a secl uh, secluded and distant point for research, undeniably optimal for the science of astronomy and otherwise. In my labs here I grow many things, testing their limits against the cold and vacuum of the stratosphere. Though not many survive, the 
existence of certain creatures here confirm the capabilities of life simply given more time? Uh, oh, there's more. I do not care much for the interstellar or the cosmos, though I have traversed it, there is still plenty in my own world to manage and discover at this time. Even if I once inhabited a different planet, the Lord's wishes that I provide the Lord the Lord's wishes that I provide him machinery were the only condition that I needed to leave it and settle elsewhere. Once I have discovered and dissected every part of this place, perhaps then I could look up towards the macroscopic. The bloated cosmic worm, though I understand why the Lord decides to employ it given he can control it, is a, disgu is a disgusting existence. However, the idea of creating an armor suited to it in every way... So this person made the destroyer? was an offer I could not refuse, forged from the cosmic steel of my own creation. It resists nearly any attack, yet allows the creature the same flexibility it would have without it, as well as augmenting its dimensional, dimensional abilities. I remain pleased with the result. How do I close this? Oh, there we go. Prototype Plasma Drive Core. Aha. Uh -huh. This is a lot of stuff. I'll take the herb bags. I'll definitely take the blink root planters. That's what I usually use. Um, this goes here. Endurance potions. Hell yes. Gold. Torches. Uh, we've only got a few more inventory spaces. What's the time? 5.40 p.m. Give to me... Well, I can come back here whenever I want, so I'll just leave this stuff for now. I guess I should find my way over there as well. If I open this... Ow! Okay, yes, yes it does have line of sight, just barely. Okay. Why not fill the piggy? I just didn't want to go to the trouble of putting down the platforms and stuff for the moment. Especially when we're about to do the boss fight, I need to prepare. Um, that bag. Go burr. Oh yeah, we don't have a void bag, do we? Fantastic. I'll just put the planter box in here for now. Wait, what? Oh, I didn't put the bombs where they go. Actually, I'll just stash the bombs. Oh, I forgot to do a fishing quest. Rip. I mean, I might... Nah, I'm not going to have time. Um, any buffs that I want to use? Hunter potion? That's pretty much it. I suppose Featherfall wouldn't hurt. And... We've got plenty of... Frostburn arrows. Uh... I might want to use... I assume that with all bosses we can't teleport home. Judging from that one boss fight. So I'll put this here. And... I think we're ready. Oh yeah, I wanted to try the javelins. No, I don't think they're as good as 
aiming frostburn arrows. Much more difficult to do as well. Oh. Okay, my my second dash seems to have better acceleration. I can actually keep my distance from him pretty reasonably at this point. Whoa, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, my first jump doesn't give me that horizontal acceleration. Ow. So I gotta double jump quickly. There we go. And now we have the Shield of Cthulhu. Uh, that's going to be a little bit better. Um, what do I want to swap, though? Probably... Probably the Shark Tooth Necklace for now. Let's go again. It's going to be easier this time. We can actually avoid one hit from its final phase dashing into us by dashing into it with the Shield of Cthulhu. However, it'll just follow up with the next hit before we can recover. What is that thing above its head? Oh, it's showing that it has Frostburn. I could have made a Demonite bow now that I think about it. That would have made this easier as well. But this bow's not that bad. Ow. I should do dash. Dash, Sandstorm in a bottle, Dash, Blizzard in a bottle. It gives me the most continuous horizontal movement. Yeah, that's good. So, jump, dash, jump, dash, jump. Oh, that's nice, that icon showing me where the eye is. And away we go. Didn't quite block it with the dash. What is that? Ow. Jump dash. Jump dash, jump. Dash. Oh, no, 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 no. One by combo. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. There we go. Let's calm down for a minute. Subtozoid, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. The Eye of Cthulhu. That eye, how peculiar. Uh huh. What? What? What is this? What time is it? Twelve fifty-one a.m. Our buffs have worn off as well, so we should probably relax for a bit. Um, so we got... What's the best shield? Warding. Nice. Very nice. Death Stare Rod. 33 summon damage. 
Oh, it looks like it's a sentry. Just like what we had. I mean, not sentry, but hangs over our head. Um, let me just... I didn't know I could drop that through the ground. Story time, indeed. Um, for now, I guess I'll put relic wherever. No! Okay, okay. We did a zigzaggy elevator, so that's fine. Um, let's keep our... Su it's so nice having the summoning items not get consumed. Uh, let's keep our summoning items in a frozen chest. Just so we know where they are. We got plenty of crimtain ore, I, I imagine. But we can't make armor with it. We need to kill the brain. Fifty-four. Yeah, we need tissue samples. Uh, can't make a pickaxe or um, an axe or a meatball. I can make a pretty strong uh, yo-yo, actually. We can make magiluminescence if I've got 15 topaz, which I very much do. Um, I could even see myself making a couple of them to see if we get a good roll on the prefix. Like, uh, warding magiluminescence would be better than a hard shackle for defense. Um, let's see. Bow. 17 range damage. Slow speed versus very slow speed. Um, I mean, it would... We get more fishing power? Yes, please. So what's this? 8, 8, 16. Uh, we can get a better axe for another 10. That's 26. Oh, we can get a sword. But I really like Star Fury for a while. It's good for revealing things underground, and I don't want to have to have another inventory slot for it. Aliandor Firebrand, thank you for the follow. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What is this? Bloodstained Glove. Stealth Strikes have plus 10 armor pen and heal for one hit point. Interesting. A toxic downpour falls over the Wasteland Seas. Is this the Wasteland Seas? The steam that killed me earlier? Um, what else? Can't get that yet. Caustic Staff. Mini Dragon. That's cute. Blood Clot Staff. Okay, I think we've seen everything we can make already. I should make a target dummy already so we can... Anti-Cyst Ointment. Save this item to prevent the perforator cysts from spawning near you. That's weird. Um, silencing sheath. Any evil bar. That's a funny way to put it. Plus 20 max stealth. Stealth generates 15% faster. Okay. Um, let's see if we get a bit lucky med making magiluminescence. How do I make it? Do I need... Don't tell me I need a demon altar. No, nope, it's an anvil. Contain plus topaz. I just have to stand here, closer to the anvil. But where is... I've got 57 topaz. 
What? Okay, first of all, let's get our inventory a bit. What is with you? Sword beeps paper. Okay. Do you have a quest or something? Is this an MMO? Apprentice bait. Does this mean they're selling unusual things? And the exclamation mark is gone. If I look away, does he not sell it anymore? No. Sulfuric skies begin to clear. I think it does mean that they're selling things they don't usually sell. Uh, okay, I definitely want these. Only one gold each. That's kind of a bargain, honestly. Uh, I don't really need mining potions. And then if I go back to you, you're still selling that. So is this all day, or... Or is, do they sell this from now on? Exclamation means new item. Okay. What's our fishing quest? Caught in surface. Let's do that. Um, but first... Sell this, sell this. Uh, no value. Whatever. Oh yeah, I wanted to see what Death Stare Rod does. I need an enemy. Uh, I would like to sort my inventory out a bit more first. I really don't need a radar. We'll just hold on to that until we can combine it with something. Why do I still... Did I never consume the buff potions for that boss fight? Well then. Nothing new about the Shield of Cthulhu, except it gives plus one defense, I think. Uh, we don't need two of these. We'll put the seeds in here. Why do I have a goldfish? Get out of here. Uh, you're... Okay, you're walking, but you're not walking. <laughs> Um, in fascinating. Let's put potions that we don't usually use in here. We've got a platinum. Nice. Uh, inventory is looking okay for now. Let's go find an enemy and see what this thing does. 33 summon damage. That is a step up from our sun thingy, but we'll see if it's more or less reliable in actually hitting enemies. If it's just going to be a laser from the eye, then yes please. Uh, yes? Yeah, so it's just a straight upgrade from... How much range does it have? About the same? Probably more. Alright. I'll take it. What should we do next? Oh, I wanted to make a... Target dummy. So we need like 50 hay, I think. Or maybe 30. Oh right, I don't have to worry about hitting critters now. There we go. Target dummy. Um, let's just... Put you somewhere a bit out of the way. Alright, so with a regular Wolfram Bow, our deeps, with regular arrows. Oh, I don't have a DPS meter. Uh, something... there was a way to make one. DPS meter. Do I just click that? There we go. Wire and gold bar. 
well, we won't have any wire. Um, yes, I just have to kind of guess, but I would imagine, I would, I would imagine the Crimtain bow, whoops, <laughs> is going to have higher deeps. Uh, the tendon bow. Maybe not. The arrows are faster on this, I'm pretty sure. That's important. Yeah, much faster. Uh, it's only 5 damage less per hit. Same crit. Even less knockback on the Tendon Bow. Um, I think the Tendon Bow is worse. Bee's Knees, Tendon Bow, Molten Fury, and Purified Gel makes Lunarian Bow. Fascinating. Um, but we can make it any time. We just delete the Eye of Cthulhu. Um, don't need any more hay. Don't need a sickle. Uh, what else? Inventory's a bit messed up. What bus should we go for? There is a super dummy that actually counts as an enemy and is spawnable and despawnable, if you mind. If I mind. Uh, that sounds great. So you, you can actually see the damage output from, like, from your summons and stuff. Material. Super dummy. Required objects, none. Uh, okay. Okay. Super dummy. Uh, that's that's not what I meant to do. How, how do I? Oh no. Uh, right click to kill all super dummies. No. Do I have to like? There we go. Generates one million life per second. Lol. So we can see. Well, we can't see our deeps just yet. But we don't have to go and find an enemy to see what a summon does. That's nice. And it does work through surfaces. Wow. Okay. Uh, right click. And it's still a material? Oh, you can just turn it back into a... Oh, that's great. I love this. Target dummy. Go. Nice. Okay. Um... We should have everything we need to kill Brain, right? Yeah, let's do that. We're going to go a little overtime today, but that's fine. Not too long. Maybe I should take three... Nah, the last double jump is so small compared to these two. And I don't really want to, like, make room for another accessory. I will take the brain seriously and actually use my buff potions, though. Like I meant to do with the Eye of Cthulhu. I really over-prepared for the eye, though. I mean, silver armor, you could probably do... Uh, Eater of Worlds. We've got 31 defense without an iron skin potion. Yeah. Well, that's with this as well, though.
How far to the crimson? We're almost there. Kind of. Just the eye alone can almost deal with a face monster. Wait, where am I going? Not, not in here. It's fine. This is pretty strong for a weapon that you can just throw forever. Oh, we don't want to kill that. Perforate assist. Was that the thing that I can cause to not spawn? I could just ignore it instead. I forgot to bring biome torches. Oh well. Where does this go? Oh, that's the same entrance. Nice shooting, not... These are quite strong. I thought they were hitting something because of the fleshy sound, but no. Also, I, I realize I missed that, um... What are, what are we killing? That's just rude. Wait, so... We haven't killed Brain, and we've already got something... We, we've got a summon that kills things through walls. Well, that is an unusual... That is a rather unusual world gem. Oh. Does this? Don't tell me this also goes to the same destination. It does. Well then. Very unique world gen here. This this thing that we got from the Eye of Cthulhu is just bullying. Uh oh. The spawn rate of these things in here is pretty nasty too, though. Deeper do we need to go? That's a lot of demon altars. Lighted gel. Oh, so that's where we get that stuff. Found it. Alright, so we need to prepare our natural arena here. Mostly just by lighting it up. 
but that's probably literally all we're doing, actually. Okay, that's that's a few that's a few spiders. We're not gonna be able to We're not gonna be able to seal the place. Um I don't necessarily think Brain of Cthulhu Arena -less is gonna be easier than Eater of Worlds Arena -less. Because we're gonna have these spiders coming in all the time. Gonna be lit. Uh, yes. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. didn't bring explosives. Uh... Okay, I guess we're teleporting back. Do I just need to have that thing in my inventory or in an accessory slot to pre prevent these cysts from spawning? I can see where that would be a problem during a boss fight, potentially. Okay, let's go back. Oh, Lantern Knight. Oh, we got a Tentacle Spike. Uh, that's... I think Star Fury is stronger. You're selling archery potions now as well. That's good. One gold is a bit steep compared to actually just farming the stuff for shine potions. But when we haven't set up our farms yet, it's definitely nice. Um, what was I doing? Bombs. You know what? This is actually perfect for Scarab Bombs. Away we go. And before we get there, I want to have... Oh, Featherfall's going to be good. Featherfall Hunter and that's pretty much it. I think I'm going to want something a bit more consistent than the rover drive. I'm sure we'll replace it with something in the not too distant future. I could use the shark tooth necklace instead. That's effectively like five more damage with everything against, I don't know, half of our enemies at this point. Especially bosses. What is that? It looks like an evil squirrel. Or a not squirrel, um, prairie dog? Only is too big.
Do I want to bother to kill that? Probably. Because... The uh, blighted gel isn't that easy to come by, right? Okay, so we've got our bombs, we've got our buff potions, we've got two double jumps. I could... If I get a gun out of the first two, um... Uh, out of the first two orbs, probably a good idea to come back with a min uh, mini shark. If not, we'll just have to deal with it. Whoops. Uh, never mind. A horrible chill goes down your spine. Oh, right, because I broke the orb. I thought this was a random boss showing up thing for a minute there. Uh, let's make a workbench. Put this down. Get some of these things out of my inventory for now. Oh, that's a gun. Fantastic. A toxic downpour falls over the wasteland seas. Bossy Greyhound, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, alright, so 15 range damage. That's definitely going to be stronger than the bow, I think. Well, except we can't use anything except for musket balls. Crossburn arrows might be better. Well, we're gonna have mini shark with shark tooth necklace though. Um, I need a hammer. I guess I need my workbench. In that case, strong eroded boar. Terrible. Alright, um, let's go get our mini shark then. And I guess in that case, uh, wait, I need room in my inventory here. Aziz Light! Aziz Light, indeed. Um, can I please get... We don't drop things the same way in this mod. That's interesting. Uh, I need two inventory slots. There we go. So I need to make another NPC shack for uh, the arms dealer. I might do some like building and nothing else off stream. So not wandering around and maybe wandering into a random boss or something. Um, but that's going to do it for today. Let's see who's streaming Terraria. Trying to hunt a fish. I wonder what fish they could be referring to. Vanilla Master Hard Mode. Calamity Summoner, last few bosses. Um, I kind of want to see how someone goes about killing Duke. See Moogle, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. And let's go do a raid. Thank you all for watching, do take care, and I'll see you next time.
If you're into Factorio, check out the Discord and the blueprints. If you have any questions, by all means. And for now, do take care. Whiskers, Veldak, thanks for hanging out. And away we go. Tyrannosaurus, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in. Thank you again.